Good morning. Good morning. Just uh, wait for you guys to get on. Urban Gardening Chronicles. Why not? Let me drop the link now so that you guys have it if you want to come up. Um, good morning, guys. Just going to start. Let me just copy the link so that you guys can, I can put it in the chat. And you guys can uh, come up if you want to come up today. Um, let me see if I got, hey, good morning, Miss AKA lady. Let me just uh, post that on my phone. I'm always, <laughs> good morning, can't stay heading to the beach. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the beach. Enjoy, have fun with your kids. Good morning, Miss Renaissance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're all got stuff to do. So I appreciate you listening while you're vacuum sealing. Miss Renaissance Grandma, I'm gonna have to get over to everyone's channel today. Later on, I have my rag. I'm hot. Uh, I sweat. Good morning, Black Herb, Black Soil Urban. Wagwan, uh, Angelique. Yeah, I'm just gonna do some pruning um, and then some um, harvesting, and I'll just do it live while y'all are here because, as you know, I haven't got no videos out. So today's the last day of the international students, so I will be more available. Uh, let me, let me, um, how do I put my, this comment, anyways, I don't know how to put the comment in, um, put the comment in the banner, but, um, whoops, what's going on here, guys? Give me a second to get this, yeah, this gimbal. Sometimes you, you want to fancy up yourself and then you have a pure problem. Yeah, I'm going to just harvest. So I saw your watermelons, mine. I'm going to show what's going on here. I have a tripod attached to the gimbal. But the mustard greens are looking better in terms of holes, but the the sun. I took off some of the bad leaves, but let me take off a few more and throw them in the compost. The earwig, earwigs, and just, we all, we all having problems with the bugs this year. And I sprayed some last night with the BT and the, um, neem oil like depending on what it was but if you want to be natural so sometimes what happens you don't want to um spray your food with chemicals so you sometimes you take a hit so you have to just plant more than what you really need which is what most people say plant for yourself your animals the bugs because yeah a lot of earwigs i'm going to drench it today but this one you can see didn't didn't have any room to grow so it just it just, yeah, yeah, they were looking good, you know, but next time I'm going to put these, actually, no, it doesn't matter if I cover them up or not. If I, even if I cover those um, mustard greens, the bugs are so tiny, unless I use tool, maybe the tool would work, but I'm just going to pick up this. And then this um, box that I have here of compost. I'm going to put some dirt on top and plant and let that break down underneath. So, yeah, my mustard greens aren't looking too, too good. These are my outstanding things to plant right there. I'm going to go up top and see if I can plant them. Um, but I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'm dropping more. Yeah, I'm dropping more seeds. It's just too much. And then this, this uh, the tomatillos, I saw two bugs on it I've never seen in my life, which I think are what you all call squash bugs. Um. So I think the squash bugs like the tomatillos. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go around and prune the tomatoes and harvest. Let me get um my potatoes ain't looking too right, but let me um show you guys that later. I'm just watching my Wi-Fi signal because last time it looked like it was low and I didn't notice it, so it wasn't good. Good morning, Bougie. Oh, you're up. Bougie, you're up. Good to see you. You guys mash me up the night, my. It was fun though that late night. I can't sleep, and I know um, 
belt loop is on. I'm going to watch. Okay, so this is a green, uh, eggplant in a container, as you know. These are the banana peppers that I bought. So I think I got everybody. Um, and I dropped the link, guys, for the stream yard. I'm not watching my phone as readily, so just um, let me see if anyone's... I can't tell who's in the basement on this phone, so I think it will show me or it will beep. Um, I'm not sure, but I got the link. Hopefully, it can work on my phone. I'm going to just harvest. So this is not... I don't know if it's big enough, but... I'm not sure how big they get, but there's three. There's too many peppers on one plant. So I took off one and there's still four on there and one coming up. So just to give it some more room and to get, let the nutrients, you know, let the plant focus on what needs to focus on. Let me harvest. Let me harvest. And I'm going to prune the uh, plants. But how are you guys doing in your gardens? I got to get around these YouTube streets and watch some more people's videos. I went around yesterday, but man, you guys, as you all know, it's busy. And I uh, was supporting um, people who had triple threat, had a thousand subscribers. Um, thank you. And then there is some other things going on. So it's hard. Do mint and lemon balm go dormant? Um, my mint, I put in my garage, uh, Angelique. But you know that I'm in a cold climate, and it did come back. The mint came back. It, it, look at the squirrel up there. See the squirrel? Disgusting, wicked demon from here. We can't stand him. It's not even ripe yet. The pear's not even ripe yet. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tired. Uh, anyways, um, it comes back. It may go dormant. I think it does, and you may have to trim it back. But if you're in your in Florida, I believe it's a perennial. Oh, something beeps. So I think that means somebody's coming up. Yep, I see you. I see you. So add to stream. Okay, thank you, Angie. This is the first time I'm doing it on my phone. Yeah, first time yeah. I'm doing it on my phone. So I, it, it, it gives me a beep. How you doing this morning, sister? I am blessed. What's going? How you doing? I'm okay. I'm just a little tired. But as you know, I had some guests, but it was a good experience for me and them. And um, they're leaving today. So, um, I'll get back to my videos and getting my stuff out there, but it was wonderful. Oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, I I wanted to ask: Do mint or lemon balm go in like a dormant stage or something? I'm not an expert, but I do know it comes back, so it okay. may go dorm It may go dormant. Okay. I'm throwing these tomatoes over, uh, cuttings over there. Um, my lemon lemon balm does come back for us every year, and we're in a okay. cold climate. And mine died. I don't know why, because I had it in the garage. Maybe it needs to be in a, in the ground. But mine came back. So it may okay. go dormant. Maybe you have to may cut it back. I'm cutting okay. off the bad leaves off this green zucchini. But um, yeah, but it'll come back. So you don't have to plant it again. It'll come. Is your oh. mint in a pot? Um, yeah, it's in a pot. Yeah, it'll come back. It'll come back. Okay. It yeah, may, um, I yeah. The, the, my lemon balm. I have three different mints in my lemon balm. They're all doing the same thing. And maybe the heat, maybe it's a bit too. And also, they, some of them, my, my lemon balm is going to seed. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut off the seed heads. Well, I'm going to keep a few to actually have seeds. Because mm -hmm. what I have now, my um, I got from my parents' garden. They had to give me a piece of theirs um, because mine didn't make it in the garage. It almost okay. made it. And then I took them out. And then we had that freak ice uh, snowstorm in the spring. And um, it, it didn't make it. The cold just, but mint, yeah, mint. You can't kill mint. It's it's really hard to kill. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I've been I've been freaking out. I was like, I gotta go back and buy some more now. No, no, no. Maybe just prune it back. Maybe give it a little a little liquid feed or something. But you can't kill mint. My mint is still. I thought it died. And if you look at the pot of mint, it's um it's flourishing. Okay, so it, it's okay. I don't know what's happening here. I think I have too many limbs on its bottom tomato, but let me check. Oh no, I can't cut it now because it has um, it has blossoms. Where I'm, okay, this camera's not even looking where I'm where I'm looking at. Yeah, there's some blossoms here, so I'm not gonna cut that mm -hmm. limb off. This one does not have blossoms, so I'm gonna cut this one off. 
So I saw your watermelons, Angelique. That's looking good. You have your melons yeah, going in your I have I went out there this morning to check because we've been raining in the evening lately. Um really storming, like thunder and lightning and storming because this is our rainy season. It's like so at the evenings it's raining in the evening time and storming really bad. So I went out there this morning to check on it, which it just killed, it just plundered my um, kale and my lettuce. The lettuce just fell over, like split wide open from the rain, just thundering down on it. But the watermelon, I have found three more watermelons on that vine, on, the, on my vine, on my watermelon vine. Oh, that's good. Enjoy that. Mine yeah. is not, well, mine's in a pot, so it's not the same. I think I'm, I'm going to find a spot in the ground mm -hmm. next year to try a few watermelon mm -hmm. to let them run freely. But yeah. I have to make a space for them because... I don't know where I'm going to put them. Sorry, the train's yeah. passing. I don't know where I'm going to put them because if I, I'll show you guys my watermelon now. The sugar baby mm -hmm. is in a pot here. I have one and I put a pantyhose on her because oh, you know, the squirrels okay. are going to be yeah. just, So I put a pantyhose on her to keep protected from them biting her. And then okay. the plant is running. So I'm sure if I could give it some more and I'm watering it heavily, but you know, it's not the same as mm -hmm. being in the ground. But this right. one back here, which is a honey, uh, this one is a um, Minnesota midget cantaloupe. Uh huh. Let me show you guys. I looked yesterday. There's a. Sorry, I'm sweating in my own face. My eye. Hold on. Um, I actually I didn't check the vine at all. I have I've just been ignoring her and just watering her. But there's a couple of females on here. Oh. Where, where is the females? I don't like know she, which okay, one, I hear. I don't know what's female like. and what's male. Yeah. That's what I'd be trying to figure out. The female has a little has a little a mini fruit on it. Can you see the little mini fruit? Oh, okay. okay. That's gonna be a fruit. The okay. male flower just has a stem. Okay. The male flower. Let me show you another male flower. Yeah, the male flower is just just a stem. It's just a flower. Okay. Yeah, but the the female has a little mini. I call it a uterus or whatever you want to, you know. But it's a mini fruit or a mini. Um, and you can see it's like a mini cucumber or whatever, whatever your whatever the fruit is. You'll see a mini of it. And then if you don't have any pollinators, you can just hand pollinate yourself with. Um, let me show you the other side. There's another one there. Good morning, Gina. Oh, good morning, Gina. So do you have to pollinate the cucumbers as well? Because I my cucumbers, I see little ones. Like I had a few I of them. I do because I don't off. know if my pollinators are reaching over here and doing okay. it for me. Okay, so okay. there's another female right there, fatty there, right. and another okay. fatty right there. So that's gonna be that's a female flower. And okay. see the male flower? Oh, this the, the male flower is right here, just a stem. Okay. Skinny stem and then the flower. Right. Okay. And any fruit, any any melon. That's how they look. You see a little mini, mini fruit on the bottom. Hey, good morning, okay. Tammy. Good morning, the, Tammy. So the um, I pollinate them just because I'm in a container garden and I don't want to not mm -hmm. get any fruit. Right. Um, and I haven't seen any bees over there, so that's why um, I do it. Okay. Because you want to make sure your 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 odds. Oh, there's a. I do see a bee over there actually, on a plant that is is a weed that's supposed to be digging up. It's a, I think it's a rhubarb, mm -hmm. but I see a bee over there, and so they may. Oh, yep, yeah, they're going to the zucchini. So maybe they're pollinating it. I'm not sure, but I haven't seen. If you see a lot of bees and wasps and stuff, then yeah, that they're doing it for you. I haven't seen them, so I'm just gonna make sure I increase my odds of um of getting fruit because I have a short growing season, right? I don't have, I don't have any chances were for mistakes. If I don't get fruit, that's it. I miss my right. whole window. Well, yeah. And then I here's, here's the yeah. okra flower from yesterday on my Instagram. I had a big old nice flower. She mm -hmm. falls off. And then you see the the okra ah, okay. coming through, pushing out. And then gotcha. so, the, so she was on here and then she falls off and you see the little mini one. Let me show you to the side. I can get the side view. Oh my god, this this gimbal's not cooperating. So okay. Yeah, she, she's has only a like a, a half inch. She's only like a half an inch long, not long. And then you see these ones. That's gonna be a flower. She hasn't flowered yet. Mm -hmm. And then there's an okra. Let me get in here. 
So there's one here. I don't know, hold on. Is the camera even on it? Yeah, yeah I see it. I see it. It's right yeah. there. So I'm gonna probably mm -hmm. harvest her tomorrow because she's about two inches, but you know, three inches is the okay. Good, so it's, you, good... you you harvest at two inches. Two or three. Okay. Anything more? Sometimes they say it gets tough. It gets too tough. Okay. So Sorry. this is my first garden, so I'm trying to get everything because oh yeah, I'm, I'm not good at okra. I did it once before, and then this is um this is cucumbers, and they're doing better now. They're actually climbing. Mm hmm and Yeah, mine's taking over out there. All of my stuff is late. Oh, oops, the cannabis. All of my <laughs> stuff is late. So I'm really trying to just get them in the ground. Like I have so much things over there to get in the ground. I'm just gonna prune these tomatoes because there's just too much going on down here. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I'm pruning them right i'm just cutting off the bottom because it's just the trees are too small i want them to push ugh, taller up and get some more airflow down here it's just too much um when i water it's too um too much limbs and then they're going to get powdery mildew so i'm just trying to make sure i have more more open space oh i'm seeing the chat going but i'm not watching it hold on yeah I, I I had to pull out the other phone because I have you. Hey, I'm oh, on good my morning, phone. African Dreaming. See you there. A blessing, yeah, African so I'm just, Dreaming. I'm just trying to tidy up. Cause look at look at the tomato here. Like, let me move this pot. Like, I'm just first of all, I need to clamp it on, and all you see is bush, bush. Like, you can't even the thing can't even breathe. So I'm just trying mm -hmm. to, you know, it's just it's too cluttered. But then if I see some some like I see it's flowering. I'm mm -hmm. not going to cut that limb now. I'm not going to cut it now. I should have cut it a long time ago. I'll leave it because that's going to give me some fruit. And at this time of the year, I don't have time to... Yeah, I'm going to pinch this off and pinch that off. So when I'm watering, and then I'm going to tie it tie it on. Cause this, this I know everybody really... keeps saying tomatoes is the easiest thing to grow or you can't mess them up. I planted my tomato, the bush, the the... Bush is beautiful, it's full, it's be got flowers. I don't have one tomato on it yet. Um not one. Have you put and any I'm assuming maybe because the heat? That could, could be, be a reason. Heat, but tomatoes love heat. I would recommend then some liquid liquid feed then. Okay. Some kind of natural, you know, use whatever you feel comfortable with. But mm -hmm. um, if you want to use a chemical, well, well, not chemical, but miracle grow, chemical. or you want to use, not, well, I say chemical because people think it's chemical, but, you know, they don't trust the organic sign. But whatever you mm -hmm. feel comfortable with, whether it's miracle grow or you want to use fish, whatever, give it a little something. Maybe it needs a little more nutrients. Okay. So I'm going to yeah, leave that, suck, take off that it's sucker. I'm taking out the suckers. Go yeah, ahead, sir. I, I didn't got it. Three or four, I, I done got like three or four new watermelons and the, the, the tomato was planted before the watermelon and it's big and I don't prune it. It's got enough air flowing through it and everything. It just, well, you see mine. I have, I have like, you definitely should have something on your tomatoes. I don't have there nothing. Be something because I, if nothing. I'm getting something and I'm in zone, you know, 5B, you probably should have had something already. Nothing, Definitely. nothing but flowers, and they keep falling off. That's all I'm getting is the flowers. Oh, okay. I think that means something. I can't remember what it means. Oh, look at! Oh my God! I have a tomatillo. I didn't even see that here. Oh wow! I mind just. I, I, I didn't even I notice just it. Seen a flower on my tomatillo. Yeah, I knocked one off by accident. But look here. Hold on. I'm gonna get my. I'm seeing all kind of bugs. I think that's a squash bug. You see that? Hold on. I'm gonna try to point at it with my. You see. I think I think I have squash bugs for the first time. Ah, uh, it's right there. Hold on, the, the tomatillo's in the way. And let me move this limb down. Yeah, see them there? No. I think I have squash uh, bugs for the first time. So I sprayed the the place last night. Some of my blossoms are looking black because of this, maybe the spray. But and then this is that's the blossom open. But yeah, I'm seeing squash bugs for the first time. Um, they like these tomatillos. It's my first year growing tomatillos. So I'm going to have to next year put them a little further away. Oh, let me say hi to the chat. Sorry. Um, oh, good morning. Um, hands in the dirt. Uh, good morning. D -Style doll. The D -Style. Oh yeah. These styles in Canada. She found me on, uh, found me yesterday, I think. So we're both oh, in wow. Canada, but <laughs> I'm getting these. I I've never seen that bug before in my life. And I think it's what you call either call squash bugs or stink bugs or some kind of bug. Mm -hmm. Spi oh, spider mites. Yep, they're taking over my my I garden. Found, guys. Yeah, I found spider mites for the first time. I found out what they were. I was looking at 
somebody's video. I can't remember who, and they were talking about, it and they showed it. And I went out like a, the day later, and I saw like the mist of it. I guess from the dew from the morning, because it was still early. You could see like tiny little webs and um, stuff. Yeah, yeah, webs. Like, yeah, like, like in almost the, like a in the corner, like yeah. down in the plant, like down, down in the plant. I'm gonna put this down here. I wanna see if I can go up top and, and plant a few things with you guys. But if not, I'll. So yeah, you see it here. Hold on. Underneath this wood is all kind of spider. You see that the webby? Mm -hmm. You see the web? Yeah, mm -hmm. all of that, all over the garden, all here. It's this web. Wow. So I have to hold, you know, all over the garden. So I don't, I haven't dealt with it. And then I, I, let me show you guys my sorrel. The sorrel is looking real good. That's, that's the one that was in rehab, but this mm -hmm. one, sorry, the sun's in my, this one has, I think aphids on it. So I had to spray it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So I sprayed all of them with neem oil and I put some DE on it to stick on it mm -hmm. right here, but it looks like it's ready to flower. So this seems to be the three month sorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems to be the three months sorrow. Um, if you guys missed last week, I assume that this was a regular sorrow, like that, that mm -hmm. takes months and months to harvest. Mm -hmm. so when the person who gave me the seeds who came back from Jamaica gave me the seeds, he's like, why do you have everything in the pot? And I'm like, well, i got to bring it in the house when it gets cold so that they can finish. Mm -hmm. He goes, no, my after three months sorrow. So um, I believe it's some kind of hybrid. Oh, okay. Which is fine, like fine or not fine. It, it depends. Like, hold on, let me put some people's comments on here. I'm just, I'm not even keeping track. Um, people saying good morning. So, you know, it, it's just yeah. First year spider mites everywhere. But um, yeah, uh, it may be a hybrid, and sometimes we grow things that are hybrids. Some people are like, I had to talk about that one time because some. People talk about hybrid like it's this mortal sin, and some things are not wrong with hybrid. If you if you bred something to be more resilient or however you bred it, but it's not, mm -hmm. it does not mean it's GMO. Like hybrids right. does not mean it's GMO. Right. It doesn't have to be modified in a, in a lab and things fused together. And let me show you guys my corn before I go up the hill. Um, but yeah, that that bug, that that um, stink bug or whatever that is. That tomatillo, I don't know, man. First year growing it. My corn has not had nothing going on. My, the corn at my parents' house already has corn on it. Uh, yeah, I got corn. Did you see it? I think, yeah, I think I saw it. There's some kind of, I don't know if this is a bug or maybe not. Maybe it's just dirt, but nothing's going on. I'm going to get some liquid feed today. I'm going to harvest these beans today. I put it on Instagram, but I'm going to actually harvest them. I think somebody asked me how it tasted. Let me cut off one. Let me cut off one. Whoops. A lot of this. These, these shears are can't even cut paper. And I keep forgetting <laughs> how dull they are. And then I need to sharpen them. Okay. So I'm going to eat this raw, guys. Let's see how it tastes. It's young and tender. You know what? All beans taste the same to me. They have a nice, they? They, they have a nice sweet taste to it. Mm-hmm. They're soft. Yeah, like I don't think there's any, any difference between the green one or the yellow one, but they all mm -hmm. taste good. It, it does taste good. Maybe just add color to your plate and maybe it has different um, polyphenols or, right. or nutrients to kind of help, but it's very young. It's, 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 it's nice and it has a little crunch. Mm -hmm. I like it. Have you planted beans? Um. Black urban? Yes. Did you plant As beans? a matter of fact, I went out this morning when I was checking. I had two little beans that was ready and I pulled them off. So I was like, oh, this is my first official harvest. <laughs> so yeah, I had two of them that was on there. I have beans all over the place. Those beans and the watermelon are the only two things that's really producing right now. This is crazy. And I think I lost. Yeah, she's lost. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have two sugar babies that's growing now. 
and one, two, three, four, five. I kick myself out of my own life. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> but yeah, I have um, How do you beans. Do that? Um, I don't Sorry, know. <laughs> yep, with your, my fat thumb, I pressed the button thinking it would, it would just open the window to the side, and no, it took me right to it. When I was like, hold on a second here. Okay, so I'm on top of the hill. Tell me if I'm getting blurry because I'm going on top of the hill. Um, so it's what still I did showing. Yesterday, um, okay, good. What I did yesterday is I filled this other bed with dirt. That's the one I showed you guys last time. I put some more mm -hmm. mesh on top. So I'm going to plant this bed. And I'm going to fill that one with dirt. I bought some. There's a whole bunch of dirt I had to pile up down there on the mm -hmm. rain barrel. I got to just bring it up. But you'd be surprised how, hey, TLC, you'd be surprised how much work it is to carry one yeah. bag of dirt up like 10 steps. It's very draining. Yeah, I'm I like, know. my goodness. And I'm sweating. Up. So, yeah. So, and some things in here died. So I think I want to just try to plant with one hand right now with you guys and just at least get. I have a kohlrabi. Look how big this kohlrabi is. It should have been in the ground a long time. Oh, yeah. And Brussels sprouts. So I'm still going to try to plant a few while I'm on here with you guys. But good morning, so TLC. Good Bru to see you. Blessings, TLC. So you're going to grow Brussels yeah, sprouts? Yeah, we need rain, man. Look at my lawn. It looked like hay. And I'm not watering it. I don't know about you, D-Style. I'm not watering my lawn. I water down there a bit. I water down there a bit, but... My my most important thing right now is my food and not my lawn. So um, I'm going to have to find a way to get my lawn looking a bit more green. But this is a cucumber, guys, from last time that one of them got eaten by these bugs. There's still bugs here. I sprayed it. But as you can see, the cucumber... Oh, there's another bug in there. Mm-mm. Earwig. So something's still attacking here. I'm going to have to really keep spraying it with neem oil. And put some DE. This this was golden wax beans, but as you can see, the my hand, I think my fat hand is blocking. But <laughs> there's leaves, but the blossom parts are under attack. There's a few blossoms there. Um there's a few blossoms there. Okay, everyone's just greeting each other. Good morning. And um yeah, I'm not I, I'm like, these little black bugs. So next year, I think I'm going to have a problem because now that these new bugs have been introduced into the garden because of different crops and maybe they just know there's food over here, I'm going to have more problems next year. There's an earwig sitting right there in the flower looking at me. The cucumber. Wow. I, oh, there's a mini cucumber down there. There's a baby down there. I don't know if you can see her. There's a little cucumber. No, it's not enough light down there, but there's a couple of babies down there. So I'm going to hand pollinate them later on. Look at the lawn. It's like if, if, there's a, if anybody puts a match down here, if anyone drops a match, <laughs> this is all going to combust. All going to combust. Well, I can send you some of our rain because, like I say, this I'm is telling you, our this rain. This hydrangea didn't make that she didn't make it. So I'm yeah. going to probably use this pot to either put the. He did. I don't know going to go here. Maybe one of the fruit trees can go in there. I think the hydrangeas like to be in the ground. And then and again, there's my compost uh, bin right there, the black. And then this is going to be, I think I want to put my corn there next year. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me see the chat. Food over grass makes sense. Yeah, exactly. I don't think, I'm not doing, you are too funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, um, I like a green lawn, but I have to choose my battles. And no one comes back here but me. <laughs> the bottom part, mm -hmm. people see. So I keep that a little bit water so that when people come, they see that nice area down there. Nobody really comes up to the top part. And then my strawberries, I'm going to have to re um, fill the box for this area because birds and the gro you know, groundhog, um, I want to make sure that I, they can't get to my straw. It's, it's a little bit um, compressed. Like the mesh is kind of pushing it down and not giving it room to grow freely so there's a few other projects i'm going to get done with me and my dad get that done and um oh good morning danny day it's good to see you i'm gonna just get some things done and um oh i don't know what happened what happened yesterday uh oh you didn't know he was a veteran yeah he's a veteran and i think danny days is a veteran as well uh, her family oh, her and her family. 
Oh, well, Sorry, thank if you, you for your service, me. Danny. Yeah, thank you for your service. That's I think I told hands in the dirt. I'm about. not sure, but thank you for your service. Yeah, I had someone. Yeah. I can't remember. Like oh, I said, come on. Sorry, before. somebody else want to come up? Oh no, no. Sorry, I was. I saw a, somebody, a button, but no. Um, I was watching on somebody's live and they were talking. They were saying how they feel like they don't have to tell the soldiers thank you for their service because they live in America. They never had a war. They don't know what's going on. Well, that's because the some men in the service is over in those countries protecting y'all there so it doesn't come to the shores here. I think I think some of the veterans need to explain that because even I'm a bit ignorant um, with what service means because... Um, there's service, and then there's what people call, um, what we call here, uh, not United Nations, um, like the Peace Corps, like we have a, mm -hmm. a Peace Corps division, oh, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. people don't understand that the American soldiers are kind of acting like as a, uh-oh, I took off the cover, I'm sidebarring, and the white moth is right there over on me. Look oh. at that cabbie. <laughs> yeah, I'm rich. Anyways, <laughs> um... And I don't think people understand the distinction that, no. you know, there's a Peace Corps. Maybe you don't call it Peace Corps, but it's like they're operating as a peace. Oh, I don't have any gloves on, guys. And I'm not going back down to get them. So well, okay. maybe someone needs to explain that who's in it. They I'm not do. in it. They and do. some they people do. don't some people don't um, have a moral stance against war. And I think the veterans maybe get the brunt of that sense mm -hmm. when really it's maybe a stance against the government uh, policies mm -hmm. so maybe they need someone who's in it needs to talk about it because you're you you're in it so you can explain you know explain it better than i can well i'm um, not i've never there's a difference between the military i was um, i was born into the military my father was in the military so i lived the military life but it's like right. korea okay we have a thing with korea the guys are stayed, the, the men are stationed over in Korea to stop that threat from coming. Because why would they be stationed here in the States if the threat is coming across the seas from that country? They're stationed over there to stop all that. Like the threat against that they had a, a, a lot of countries that we have against. A, the, these guys are stationed over there to be that representative or the peace to stop it from coming to the United States shores. That's why we don't have war here. I mean, 9-11 was devastating. Right, and that's to, not uh, that's the, not understood. I only understood that understood that later <laughs> on in life because um um you're yeah, you're stationed elsewhere to prevent oh yes. thanks, sunny days. My dad built them. They don't look the best, but they're better than having my food be eaten up by these animals. But yeah, just to understand because we you know, I'm not gonna say understood. I'm not I'm not stupid, but I just didn't take the time to um, you know, look it up. That they're over there to prevent things from coming over here. Canada and the U.S. and even the U.K. That's a coal right. that is planted there next to this cabbage. Uh, uh, so, what kind of cabbage is that? Yeah, it, it, cauliflower. I mean, so cauliflower. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like bashing people. They have their beliefs, or what. They don't think that the soldiers is doing anything to protect them. You know, that's their. That's their thing. I mean, I know because I lived it, and I know what you know they do. I've been in lived in countries where there were like war. I mean, literally my brother, I was a senior in high school when we were stationed in Germany. And when they bombed Frankfurt and they bombed Berlin, I was over there. And they were literally, they literally a storekeeper at the, I had taken my brothers downtown to go shopping. And the, the, the lady came back in and she was speaking in German. And what she was saying was, you can't go out right now. And I'm asking why. And she said, they're out there protesting and they were actually looking for Americans to harm them. So the guy in the store department, he locked me and my two brothers right. in the storage room until it was over. And then he put us in a taxi and sent us straight home. I I was at school. They had a lockdown at school because we had to put it. They finally had, they had to put a fence around our school because they started trying to break into the school where we was at and they put a fence around it. And we, they literally, cause we used to go off, off, off campus to go to base to buy like, cause we had finally got a Burger King there. So we was going over there to get, you know, Burger King. We didn't have Burger King in Germany at the time. Um, so we was all going over there on base on, on another compound to get the, and we would leave off of school grounds. Well, they had stopped that when that, and that's back in 85, 
five. That's when Reagan bombed Libya. And that was very talented. And even that, I was not aware. Like, I, not that I wasn't aware. When I started researching Libya a bit more and, and Gaddafi, mm -hmm. and yeah. I realize now I don't really have a problem with Gaddafi. Like, I was trained to have a problem with Gaddafi, but mm -hmm. he's one of the few leaders who spoke about racism in Africa and, mm -hmm. that, and how black people have been treated. And, and I believe he has some bad tendencies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not speaking like a blanket, but there was mm -hmm. more to the story than just what I was saw in the media. That's all what I'm going to say. Because yeah. there's always politics and politics. There's always people who have side agendas. There's, you know, backdoor deals. There's other things happening behind the scenes. But in terms of his public statements, I don't have a problem with what I've actually watched online and saw what he was saying at the UN meetings. I don't have a problem with what he said. Good morning. Yeah, um, um, the backyard good life of HWGAC. Wait, okay. I was in Canada. Oh, Canada and he was in Germany at that time. Wait, wait, wait. Danny Day says her dad went hold to on. Frank. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to go back to that comment because I believe I'm Which older one? than Hands in the Dirt. And if he was in Germany at that time, and I know he served in the military, you must have went in early because I was only a senior in high school. And I do believe he I'm older than you. In his 50. I think he was he went in young, but Hands in the Dirt, if you want to share that, you can I think he was a young, a young, young man. He had he had to young, be because when, I was when, when can you enlist? I'm older than when can you me. enlist? Um, when can you enlist? At, at, at age, what, 18, 18, 16? 18, 18. So maybe he was 18. But I'm older than Hands in the Dirt, I believe. So there's no He's way in his mid 50s, he I believe. I am too. I'm older than him. So then, yeah, but that, that means you're not much older than him. If you're yeah, both in your mid 50s, I'm a, right? I was born in 68. Uh huh. So at that time in eight, I oh, I mean, okay. So he is. He's. A Did he write a comment now. down? Yeah, he's a year okay, older he than he's, I am. He's fifty-five in next, the next, next month. month. So he's okay. yeah. So yeah, I doubt yeah. Right. Okay. Now now I understand. So I think because... there's a misunderstanding with the military. Um, and it would be great if not necessarily them, but people in general would would express oops i'm making a mess because the wars are being fought elsewhere so that we're not experiencing them here and we're keeping the you know the terror out but people but don't we understand we that we in on, on united souls the things that that happen over in them other countries we couldn't handle it here look what happened when 9 11 hit we we oh, fell when apart that hit, when that hit yeah, oh my we, god we fell apart so I was down. Have you ever that, been mm -hmm. to a war torn country and see what happens there? Like what literally goes on? Like that, that, that's nothing to what happened. I mean, I, it was a big travesty to us, but that is nothing that happens to these other countries. So no, we couldn't handle it if we had war on our, on our, on our shores. So that's why the military is over stationed in these places that y'all would never go to. Hands in the dirt Never said you were there from 19, 1985 to 88 in Germany. So yeah. if you were there, that's when you I were there? 84, 84 to 87. So yeah, you all, you all were there at the same same time. Yeah, I think he was in um, Nuremberg. I think yeah, that's what I, he I told me. Yeah, I remember him saying Nuremberg. I remember yeah. that name. See, I, was, I was in Hanau, which isn't that far because I would go to Nuremberg because I had friends there. But I was in um, Hanau near... Um, a Schaffenberg and um, which is well, you all wouldn't know, but he would know <laughs> where I'm talking about. People don't understand the pot, like, there's certain topics people don't want to discuss, which I'm not going to discuss. But what I'm saying is, people are not interested in studying, and you need no. to understand people need to understand politics, need to understand civics and um, and social, you know, that kind of those kind of subjects because it's all interconnected. Because war is not just war, war is is a business war is strategic war is there's many layers to this not just as simple uh. as stopping the unjust good morning nikki there's layers hey, Nikki, blessings. So, once you once you start going into the rabbit hole and start seeing what's happening it's you'll understand this this thing is just um what did i miss so um danny days is saying her dad was in the desert shield no, there's a storm is what she meant i know what she meant oh okay sorry i'm reading <laughs> it was, what she it was, good morning marlon 
That was the Gulf War. My ex husband was at Desert Storm. Oh my God, okay, I don't so even want to talk about. Is Danny Day's Danny Day's parents. So she's a young, a very young person. Then. Yeah, she's, yeah. Her character I don't even want to talk about Desert Storm. That's just as bad to the the guys when they uh, came back. He was that. first in Bomb Holder, Bomb Holder. Bomb Holder. Mm-hmm. My first Bomb tour Holder. at Nuremberg. My second tour. So, um, um, hands in the dirt, spark in the dirt. He speaks. Yeah, he speaks German. Ah. And he speaks French. He he um I haven't I heard him bust a bust a or something one time. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Dankeschön yeah. and uh Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Guten Guten Morgen. Um Eschuligan. My favorite one there was Eschuligan. No, no, no. She said she said Desert Shield. She said no, it's not Desert Storm, it's Desert Shield. Gulf War, no second of August nineteen ninety. It's Desert Storm. I know what it is. My maybe I have a desert my son there was were two um, operations or depending no, on what it wasn't she recorrect she corrected it it was oh, desert did? storm yeah and it wasn't see, from um, i don't see that yet hold on yeah it was desert i know because oh, okay son, i see so okay sorry yes yeah, she did yeah my desert son storm. was um the year that that it, and actually it wasn't january 91 it wasn't january 91 it was actually august Cause my husband went before it. that's January, February was January is when, well, March actually is when the storm, when they started fighting, but and that was yeah, the first, was, that was the first bush, right? That was that the was, first, second yeah, bush, that was the, first bush, the yeah. younger bush. Yeah. I can't remember. I have to remember like, um, scenarios to remember times and dates. I'm not good with times and dates. Um, D style. Oh no, I we just it's, you just jump on the live. Whenever we go live, we all kind of either jump in. Some yeah. different people, um, some same people. It was only one. Um, chat. It was only one war, and it was called Desert Storm. It started August, which is correct, Danny, but it wasn't Desert Shield. It started as they they turned. It was de- actually called Desert Storm. It wasn't two wars. It wasn't it wasn't two wars. It was only one war. It started in August, and they didn't have a war then. It was just them over there, and they were getting everything together. Yeah, my 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 ex husband he rode with the general that was from there, which was from Tampa. He was the general here at MacDill. So yeah, I, I know about the all of that because yeah, my husband was classified too. Um, yeah, um, it, he um, yeah he rode with the um, I forget the general name, but she he was he was stationed here at MacDill, which is here in Tampa. Um, hands of the dirt saying that um, the operation started yeah. at Desert Shield once uh, the combat combat started. Start, right, because so it wasn't storm. combat until, if I'm yeah. not mistaken, hands didn't it start in February? The combat? I don't know. Was he, I think it started until it, it didn't. It didn't last till March. I think it's lasted until March. Because uh, my 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 ex husband he left in um on August on July. Oh God, July something because. Um, um, what is they? What is the thing? The people, eighty second airborne is the first to go, and then my husband, my ex husband was on um, field artillery, and they're the ground protection for, for them. So they went in right after eighty second airborne went in, which I can't remember the exact time, but yeah, mm-hmm. it was um that when they them guys came. My my son actually, you know, they let off chemical gases over there. I have a um. A son, my so son, that means, and I tell uh, that means, um, the U.S. Mi- um, military was exposed to that as well. Then exposed to those yeah. gases. Yeah, I have a son that a lot of the kids that came, then, a lot uh, of the know. guys that came back from over there, or the females who had children, um, that, that was born from like ninety two, ninety three. They came back because my son, my ex husband, he had um nerve gas was let go over there. And he was born with um a born with a defect. He's hearing impaired. He doesn't have the nerve that runs from his inner ear to his brain to give you that sound wave to let you know that they're sound wow. wave. So he was born without that. Hands in the dirt served in both. Good morning, Queen Shar. I see you there. Uh, I think Tammy. Oh, Tammy's giving the dates: January seventeenth to February twenty eighth. You guys, I know this because I was born in November of ninety. Oh, so you're she's young. Yeah. And my daddy wasn't there to see me born because he yeah. was over there. Yeah. Yeah. My, my my son was only four months old. My son had just been born, but actually went over there in the end of July. My ex-husband went in the end of July. My son was only four months old when, when he left. 
and he was people born need to in understand whether they believe in war or not people need to understand the sacrifice because people leaving their families leaving their children mm -hmm. coming back with with problems and then those mm -hmm. problems the governments are not uh, taking care of the veterans that they sent over there. And as you said, like defects and all kind of serious mm -hmm. long-term health. So there's, 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 you know, whether, whatever you believe is your beliefs, but you have to have some humanity because people are coming back um, with long-term problems. Um, what happened to gardening? Oh, we talk about everything over here, Char. Talk about everything. Right. I was talking about gardening. We'll get back to gardening in a, in a few moments. <laughs> um, but we have to, you know, we just have to, uh, and I repeat, thank you for your service. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and thank you, know, you Nikki, for your uncle's service as well. Thank I you have for two that. uncles who serve in the army today. Both have mental yes. issues. One serve. They and, do. Yes. And who's taking yeah. care of them? Yeah. Are, My, the, what, like, yeah. You know, are the benefits taking care of, you know, the military no. taking care of their, their no. Um, soldiers? No. No. They didn't even I take care of the are. kids. They didn't even take care of the kids that was born with defects when they came back. They, so there was nothing we could are, do. Are angry because not at the soldiers per se, but they're no. angry at the system, at the system yes. and how it's set up and how it, it drops the ball. And I think people kind of get, there's here's some more of those webs. You see all over the places, these, these yeah. webs. <laughs> people are upset. Um, Cause I asked somebody in your chat, like, why mm -hmm. would you join the military with all that they, they do and they don't take care of their, their people. And, you know, everyone's situation is different and what they're running from are getting away from a bad community. But, you know, people mix that up with. Hold on, the train. The train is loud, loud, loud. <laughs> they're mixing up their feelings. They're mixing up, you know, people's choices and their right to make their free mm -hmm. choice. And if they want to do the military, that's fine. But they're mixing all that up and not... Um, understanding each independent component of all what they like and don't like. So they believe in freedom. They believe in, you know, um, everyone has the right to choose, but mm -hmm. part of that is a bit of military because not everybody has those free choices in different countries. And then we have to protect other, other countries, but then they feel that, Oh, you're interfering in the wow. way that a country has to operate, which I do understand, but there's, you know, yeah. there's different, aspects of the conversation but people are mixing it all into like i hate war and then i hate all like no 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 and then there's, there's a bug here i'm gonna show it this is an invasive beetle it's not the asian beetle but it's just mm -hmm. as invasive oh you can't show you it's, it's gone and that bug likes the seeds of plants so anything that you let go to seed mm -hmm. it's just ravishing and eating so good morning hi uh he he gave homestead Yep. Yeah, I'm so sorry. TLC, TLC has, has a, put up her testimony. Yeah, this is like this ain't no joke. So no, people are mixing up all that anger and frustration into different components of the same issue, but it's very different. So someone needs to talk about that. Who's 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 you know equipped to talk about that? I can't. I've never served. I probably, if I had a chance to serve, I probably would never have served. To be perfectly honest, no. Um, I don't have that. I would probably be more to serve in the um, like a local regiment, but I would never be one to like join fully join and go overseas. I would do like um, a reservist kind of role. Mm -mm. Um, but that's my that's my choice nope. and my decision. I have the utmost respect for him and all who sacrifice yeah. so much of their freedom fight for ours. I try every day to make the most exactly. What do you are we making the most of it? Yeah, because that's uh -huh. what they're doing. They, they Hands the dirt was in Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Kuwait from December 99 to May 91, live in the desert for six months. Yes, and that's I I I am like I say, I grew up in it. And that was not my brother. Yeah, I know what um, I, I know what it is, Hike. I just can't say it properly. Is it high, I think it's Hugo. Okay, sorry, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel. Hi sorry, I got distracted. There's a squirrel. Let me go deal with this kid. Um <laughs> Because I have Ikea here. <laughs> and I know there's a couple of words that I know in Swedish. So they're saying hi to each other. saying hi. But yeah, someone needs to talk about that, guys. I don't know who, but... And, and not, well, in, a big, not in a big us. chunk. Like in small no. chunks. It's yeah. too big of a topic. Just take a small aspect and then just discuss that. To give people well, more awareness. 
Don't take yeah, a whole I, big I think that would be better yeah. for like hands in the dirt or those that served in the military. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can only tell you from the dependent side. I can't tell you from being in it. Yeah, you know, and it's someone, who, someone who's just you know very knowledgeable about history because sometimes you just go through the dates, the times, what True. happened and when, and why um, certain decisions were made, and what other country like just going through the history of it. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I like history, I'm a history buff, I love studying history, and it shows you a lot. So, someone who's you know, you don't have to talk about your, your personal politics, I'm just saying go through the history, right? And, yeah, and explain things to people who may not even have read the history that is going through the media and watching the news and that's their history. No, 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 no. They're not giving you the full 360. So I don't know if it's already a channel like that. But if it's already a channel like that, but talk, hey, good morning, G Mama. Um, but just, you know, some people just have an intellectual subject matter. Okay, so let me go back to the gardening now. Yeah. I um it's 942. I'm I have to uh drop these girls off to their meeting point by 2 30 to go to the airport so they're I'm Wait, letting them every, take their... every vegetable plant you buy from the big box store is a hybrid i did not know that it yeah is... they are they are oh my god and i want to talk about that maybe next week when i can actually sit down at a table <laughs> and talk not know that yeah and i I've... bought some from there and i've harvested seeds from there and yeah. i've gotten plants from there but they're not they're not going to be true to the plant uh... i'm I'm at a point where I don't even care. Like, not that I don't care. I pick and choose when I care about certain things. Right now, I just care about growing food and learning how to grow food and how to harvest seeds. Right. Now, as I get more, um, you know, deeper down the rabbit hole, I'm going to start maybe getting organic and, and heirloom seeds and harvesting. But if you're going to plant heirloom stuff, like mm -hmm. I have tomatoes, you can't plant them next to each other. You have to plant one kind over here and one kind over there because they're going to cross pollinate and they'll no longer be heirloom. So uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna do heirloom and be truly heirloom, you have to have the space and have the knowledge. Okay, those tomatoes go here, the other ones go over there. Some go up top so that you're spacing them out so things aren't cross pollinating. You have to have your corn separate because you don't want them to cross pollinate. So people talk about oh you know organic and, and hybrid, everything's a hybrid. If you have a backyard garden and plant things and the bugs are hopping from one squash to the other squash, mm -hmm. things are cross pollinating. Right. You're, you're, but you can still grow food. Now GMO is what I have a problem with because that's genetically modified. modified I plant right. most of my plants from, yeah, I use Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar, Dollar Store, Dollarama and Dollar Tree seeds uh, and the big box stores and people give me yeah. seeds from their harvest. Like, or I yeah, go I buy food from seeds. the grocery store. I buy like, I bought a melon from the store that I've never seen before and I took the seeds out. And then somebody gave me a good idea that like plant a seed. Don't wait till next spring, plant one now to see if it's even viable. So that next spring, I already know that seeds are good. So I said, oh yeah, true, true. So I'm going to plant one of the seeds now um, to make sure that the seeds are good. Yeah. So like, I want to talk about that next week. I'm not going to go too deep into that. I'm going to do some more research and, and come with some more facts, but these terms are being misconstrued. It, hybrid does not mean GMO and GMO is not hybrid. Organic okay. does not mean that it's not GMO. Something can be organic, but it's still GMO. That's really? why you have to look for heirloom. I did not know that either. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Sorry, my, the train's passing there, but I, I mean, I have some heirloom seeds, but, you know, but I didn't know you weren't supposed to plant them like right next to each other like that. So uh, some of us are getting uh, lost with the, um, I think you're talking, but I can't hear you. Sorry. Maybe you're talking. Okay. I can hear you. The train's gone out. You're getting lost in the sauce. Oh, it's, right. it's hybrid. It's hybrid. It's hybrid. Right. I think everything after a time, everything in your, in your own backyard is going to start cross pollinating unless you have the space to really isolate things separately to prevent that. But can you prevent a bug from a bee from flying from one zucchini to another no. zucchini down, downwind? No, no. The bee's going to be hopping from one to the other. Right. They're packing the pollen in their, in their leg pouches. Some might dust off into the wrong. Like, I think, you know, we're a little bit, o you know, OCD with this, with this, you know, everything is a hybrid as far as I'm concerned. At some point along the way, unless the farm is only growing one crop and some farms only do like one or two crops, that's all they grow. Right. And then they sell those seeds to the public. Uh, let me see here. 
Checking viability of seeds is important. Not all seeds last for, exactly for years because it's just like, so just worry about if it's, if it's um, organic, whether or not it's chemically been modified and that's about it. Don't worry about how, like, I have tomatoes over here. That's one kind. And I put some over here. That's one kind with the tomatillos, but I bet you that's going to cross pollinate with the tomatillos. Then I have some other tomatoes over here that is too close to these tomatoes over there. So there's going to be, so I just decided, you know what? I'm just going to go to the store and go buy some more organic seeds. That's to me is a bit easier than worrying about what's planted next to what. Then I have tomatoes over here. What's with all these yellow butterflies? I have four here and a different mm -hmm. kind, a cucumber in the, or a melon in the middle and a different four. But these are too close. Technically, they're going to cross pollinate. Mm. Or maybe they won't. I don't know. Or maybe the, you know, the, the bugs will hop from one to the other. I don't know. I can't control all of that. Good morning, Teacher P. I see you there. I can't control Why all of that. Teacher P. And why am Let's I going to bother control all of that? I think there's a, a designer of the universe that can control all of that. And his that's that's his problem. That's not my problem. Yeah. My problem is to make sure I have my food for my family and myself. Right. All that other stuff, if you're interested in all the science of it, by all means, have at it. But let me cut down this, this dry because it's not gonna, it's gonna reflower if I cut off all these deadheads, which I haven't and, done. Um, so G while I'm here, taught me, G Mama Grows taught me. Yet I watched one of her videos, which I did not know that um, if you plant corn close together, that it won't grow. What do you mean close? Like different kinds together like, or the same no, kind no, together? No, 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 no. I mean, if they're plot, like I think she was, she had some, and she had them close together. Because I have some that's like bunched together, like not spread it out, like like in a little area and they're really, really close. And she mm -hmm. was saying that um, in her thing that she was doing, that she was pollinating her corn. And she said, if you have them um, planted like up against each other, really close, that um, it may not, it may not get corn or it may not pollinate or something. I got to go back and watch it again. I got to go back and watch morning. it. I just punted it yeah, on she, one she, back. She, so um, she it uploaded right it this morning. I think it was. Oh, if it's this morning, I, I didn't see it yet then. No, yeah. I didn't see it yet. I was doing um I was checking out people's Instagrams this morning. Yeah, I think she I think she plan I think she uploaded this morning. Are you on Instagram I, I on Black Soil? Um a person my personal one, yeah. Oh no, okay, no it's okay. I thought you had a black soil one or, or your gardening one. No, there, I have that one and I have one for my candle business. Those are the only two that I have. Okay. Hey Nana, baby. My grandson just walked in. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> He's up and ready to go. So yeah, there's, 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 you know, I think most people just, just grow your food, grow your food, but yeah. we'll talk about the science of it. Cause it is interesting. I mean, we don't, we don't want to be ignorant, but I think some of the things that we're worrying about, you have no control of anyways. You, you right. can't control cross pollination. You can't con keep a pure species. Then people are talking about, cause the reason why I kind of, you know, stepped away from some of this conversation was, you know, they're talking about broccoli and, you know, um, Dr. Sebe and the real, the real, you know, um, Re re eating alkaline because I'm trying to eat alkaline and like if I'm growing mm -hmm. a cabbage and the cabbage says it's heirloom it's organic what more do I need to worry about oh it's man-made so I looked up what this man-made yeah. concept was and if a, if a farmer because farmers have been scientists before while they were farming for many generations right. and they have been cross-pollinating and breeding things to make the strain stronger more bug resistant in a natural way that to me is not GMO that's natural selection that's like Darwinism. Mm. That's a natural selection and the strong will survive. This, the, to me, there's nothing wrong with that. So how are you telling me it's man-made? That's not man-made. A man didn't go into a lab. Well, in some cases, right. yes, they went into a lab and they made stuff. But cabbage has evolved over the years to broccoli, to cauliflower, to bok choy, to different things. You can't tell me that that's, not, that's bad for me to eat. It may give me more gas, but that's not a bad thing. You eat what's good for your digestion and your body type, but doesn't don't tell me it's oh it's man made. It's no no no. Not everything that they say man made is literally made in a lab. There's there's a distinct difference that they're not discussing, which is irritating my spirit. Because like, if a farmer breeds corn and some people have bred corn and they keep breeding the corn to get the best of the of the species and, and they cross pollinate them intentionally, there's a weed, but I can't deal with that right now. So I'm gonna just cut the top off because it's seeding. And um, that's a pretty flower, but you can't see it because all the other overgrowth. 
That's nothing wrong with that. That's not man-made. That's just, you know, uh, selective breeding. And they've been doing that with, with human beings for generations, but you ain't got no problem with that. But you got a problem with broccoli and corn? I think you're arguing with the wrong stuff. So I'm just, okay, on hold here. No problem. Yeah. Okay. So I don't I'm have a problem with that. Off. So that's why Hold I kind of left the I'm conversation. So people are like, oh, you're not alkaline. You're not alkaline. You're not, you know. It's like, ah, oh, shut up. Like, shut up. But really I'm and true. Breakfast from for the family now. My grandson is up. So I need to get breakfast going. But I'm listening in the background. I'm still here. I'm just gonna. No off problem. The let me drop the link again if somebody else wants to come up for a little bit. I'm not gonna go on forever in a day. But let me drop the link. Let me just go out the sun here. I trimmed some stuff down. This is a weed. I'm just going to cut the top off and deal with the seed head after. But again, spider mites. This dahlia hasn't flowered yet, but it's coming along. It's... And then the balloon flowers. Looking pretty. Looking pretty. And for those who missed it, my sugar baby is wearing her pantyhose now. And that's to protect her from being bitten by... Um, squirrels and whatever else is in these streets raccoons whatever because they'll just totally destroy my fruit and then i can't eat it and i don't have enough to really risk losing anything so let me drop the link in a second let me just catch up with the chat um <clears throat> everyone's green corn will cross pollinate very exactly so people people are trying to fight against nature like oh hybrid ain't nothing wrong with hybrid everything is a hybrid we're hybrids. Corn planted too closely won't produce. E oh, allegedly. Well, my parents have corn, but maybe this one's too close. I put, how many do I have in here? One, two, one, two. I have five corns in here and I have some onions mixed in there. I'm not sure. Well, if that's what happens, then um, that's why I'm not going to get corn then. So I'll, oh, I'll know for next year. Um. D style saying growing your own food is a hundred percent better than buying food in store. I just enjoy planting. I don't use nothing but cow manure and sheep. Yeah, I use that too. I do use Miracle Grow. I have what I already purchased from before, and I do use it. And I'm not gonna, you know, but I am moving towards uh comp. I have compost tea and my own compost bin up top. Compost bin here. So I'm evolving, but I do use Miracle Grow, and I will be using fish fertilizer, and I will be using um, you know, other things where the DNA strains from one var. Yeah, that's different. But people are acting like they act like hybrid is GMO and it's not the same. What we can't control a lot. Yeah, we can't control. But even in the cut, even whatever country you live in, you can't control nature. You can't you can't control what what the what the uh, bugs are going to do and the birds are going to do. Please, my friend, clean up that spider mite because they are breeding. Oh. I don't know how to clean them up. I guess it's just, just like spray them down with something. I put four corn starts in a grow bag and they, okay, I have five. Yeah, use whatever you like. Because trust me, in the grocery store, aren't they using hu human waste? That, I, thought, I talked about a video, guys, a few weeks ago. I don't know. It's on there. I didn't take it down. And it linked a video and a chat, a large ch YouTube channel. And a video. I will find that video and link it to this live again for those who missed it. It's not a long video talking about the the um, agriculture system in the U.S. And some of you already know, but to see it, you know, on a documentary might be helpful. And the human waste and all the crap they're using in the agricultural system. So uh, I think Miracle Grow is better than some of the crap they're using. So that's fine with me. But um. Yeah, let me just keep going with the pruning. So I'm trying to prune my tomatoes. And um, what I mentioned last time, and I think it was plant, no, it was planters like, because I like to go to the planter. These are self-watering pots. Please explain to me why these pots are so dry when they have a reservoir, when I drench them and there's water underneath. So the plant is getting water from the bottom, but this is how dry it is, like limp. And I told planter, the ones that I planted as deep as I could in the ground, mind you, over here is shadier. Look at these. They're smaller. They're not as tall, but they're green. They're not, they're not dry. 
So I'm putting what he's saying to the test. I, you know, I know it's true, but you have to apply it to your own situation. I think these ones got a little bit wet. So there's some, there's some spots or there's some insect dead. But these, look at them. This is the natural soil. I put a bit of manure, but I put them as deep as I could. And these ones are taking a lot less water. And again, there's spider mites back here. So these down, I'm going to have to go through. Maybe I'm going to just spray with some vinegar and water because I don't think water enough is going to do it. I'm going to just find, Google it and figure out. But those look green. These ones are green, but I have to water them regularly because they're in containers. So at the end of the season, I'm going to amend these soils because obviously it's still not holding enough water. I need to have some more material that can at least, um, you know, retain more water. Because look at these ones. It's, it's first thing in the morning. I watered them all last night. Look at them limpy, limpy. Now, it's also watering is an issue, but also the temperature is changing, guys. The radiation level, it's not just the heat. The radiation levels are getting more intense. UV rays are really affecting the garden. Um, yeah, corn and grow bags is doing fine. Yeah, and I watched Gina's grow bags, so I think mine are going to be okay. Listen, if you've seen Tina's garden, she's just 5'11 faithfully and her garden. Yeah, I use super, I, well, I haven't made the super juice, but I have all the, the rotten stuff over there. Sorry if it's shaking, guys. It's the gimbal doing some kind of twerk and, twerk and dance. Um, and 5'11, which is fish emulsion. And you can make your own fish emulsion if you really want to, but do you really want to? Um, and, you know, calcium, I have, I use eggshells, but... What we don't understand is some of us don't have enough organic material to sustain an entire, I have all this, all that, let me block my hand for the cannabis, all of that. You see me have three beds up top, I'm going to fill them by the weekend. I have a whole garden right there. I have another grow bag, a, a grow bed to put up there, that's going to be four. I'm going to have chickens, which will give me organic matter, but some of us are like talking like as if all that we're doing is enough. No, what you're doing is great, but it may not be enough to sustain all the plants that you're growing. So sometimes you might have to get a little bit of a outside um, help. You're moving the mites around when you touch them. Uh oh, thank you for the heads up. I'm going to figure out. I think that's what I did then, D style. I moved them around. I'm going to figure out what to spray. I'm in these streets, going to be canning some pepper jam today. Oh, that's great. I have not. Can oh, good morning, badass. I didn't see you. I haven't canned anything yet, Gina. I have my canner. I read the book. I think I'm going to have to purchase some stuff. I think I'm going to just can some meat because that to me is important to me and some meat sauce. I'm not necessar necessarily going to can things in my garden. I think most of the stuff will be eaten and whatever I don't eat will be frozen. And maybe OCD. Good okay, you're saying good morning. I'm not self-sufficient enough to make, exactly. I can't make my own fish fertilizer, so I'm going to have to purchase it and trust that the company is doing what they're supposed to do and, and, and making it in a proper manner. Some people have a problem with blood meal and bone meal because of the, the slaughtering house, which, you know, I, I kind of don't like the way they kill the animals. Well, I shouldn't say the word kill, dispatch. But until you can do better, there's not much you can really say about it. But I am making, I, some people, I could bury my fish heads when I cook fish in the ground, but who wants them raccoons coming around here? Anyways, I'm talking. Let me get the link. I'm supposed to give you guys the link. If anyone wants to come up, go right ahead. You can um, chitter chatter for a bit more. Um, let me find it. I'm on my phone, so bear with me a second. Because you know, I sometimes I type the wrong. How do I get into the chat? Oh, post a comment. Um, I think that's the link. Okay, put the link up if anyone wants to come up. Go right ahead. Uh, the jam is water bath can. Okay, I do have a water bath canner, and I did purchase a steam canner, which I actually like over the water bath because it uses a lot less water. And it kind of got me into watching the dial, so I think I'll be more comfortable with the pressure canner now that I've used the steam canner. So I dropped the link there. Anyone wants to come up? We can just talk about gardening and other stuff too. 
even though even though my name is Urban Gardening Chronicles and some other people here have a gardening like homesteading channel, we don't. That's not the only thing that we talk about. We talk about other stuff too, <clears throat> and especially when we go on other people's lives. So, you know, we're all encompassing. My uh, comfrey does not look too too good. It's not bad, but hold on. What's all this black stuff, guys? Does something drip? Some sap drip on it? You guys can see it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Something could have dropped on it. Sometimes these squirrels are eating stuff around here. And I don't know. And the kale is looking much better after my uh, stompathon last weekend, killing all those worms. But I am going to spray it again tonight because um, the neem oil, just to make sure. And my mustard greens, not looking too, too good. So, you know, I'm just going to drop some more seeds, guys. That's all you got to do. Just drop some more seeds. The earwigs had a field day. The worms had a field day. Those little black bugs had a field day. And to, surprisingly enough, it didn't bolt. So this kale is actually very resilient. There's a, a little batch down here with some new leaves. So, okay, the new leaves are looking good. So even though I lost the battle, the new leaves are actually untouched. So let me leave those old leaves there as a, as a decoy for the bugs. And then I'll, I'll have some new leaves growing in there. It's not too, too bad. These bell peppers are doing okay. You can see there's a little pepper there, a little pepper there. These are from Jamaica, sweet peppers, but the leaves again down and I'm watering, but I'm going to have to get, I'm going to go to the box store today and get some kind of fish. We don't have 5.11 here. I can buy it on Amazon, but it's way too expensive. So I'm going to buy another brand of fish fertilizer. And these ones here are the cayenne pepper. So you can see they're flowering and some of the flowers are there are dying, but and this is um, this is either a garlic scape or it's a shallot. No, this is shallots. I didn't plant garlic. I have two garlic there, and they they barely made it. So, the cayenne pepper is flowering in front of the okra. Oh, and there's a little pepper right there. Let me get my. That's a cayenne pepper. It's about a quarter of an inch long. Oh, there's a whole bunch here, guys. See, they don't even keep track. See that? That's a cayenne pepper i didn't need them but i planted them just to as a bug uh, deterrent uh have you seen any possums running around your garden i haven't seen them but i think they're around i, I definitely have seen raccoons i have a video on there shar with me evicting the raccoon from my patio but yeah they're possums i haven't seen them though i don't want to see them and i have and I smell skunks. Every morning I can smell through the window, whether it's closed or not, you can smell skunk. So all three are a problem. And Shar, I don't know if you saw, I have my chicken coop in there in, inside of a shed. So I'm gonna have a, like a, sh a coop in a shed to give it extra protection. So I'm gonna be getting chickens. And I know you know we're not allowed to have them, but I'm gonna have them anyways, cause I want my eggs. But yeah, watch out for them, them, um, them possums and don't want let them um, have no babies under your deck. Spider mites, put a, a little alcohol in a spray bottle and spray your plants down. Or try some Dawn with, oh, okay, I have Dawn, in a spray bottle and let it sit. Um, and then spray, okay. Would neem oil work as well, um, Nikki? I have neem oil already set up in a bottle. I've seen them running around our area. Oh, they're here. I haven't seen them per se, but I know they're around. I saw one at my sister's house. And they have claws. Oh, thank you, Teacher P. They have claws like raccoons. Don't play with them, them possums. That's why I'm building the, the chicken coop in the shed. Because I already know in our area, we have a lot of, um, uh, I guess, rodents. Not rodents. We call them whatever. Skunks, raccoons, and possums. And they all will kill chickens. And my scotch bonnet is looking better, guys. Last, Well, this one's a little droopy, but these two are looking better. I'm going to transplant them. That one that I was saying was like not doing nothing. I think it heard me talking about him and, and he grew like four new leaves. So she's here. She's showing out. This one is doing good, but something is eating the leaves, guys. I've never seen any bug that wants scotch bonnet leaves. So I don't know. It could be that squash bug that I was just saying is new. But those are two right there. And there's a bumblebee. I don't know if I can. The sun's in my screen, guys. So I don't know if I'm capturing her, but. Let me get right in there. 
She's right in there. She's right. Oh, I see somebody coming up. Hold on. Oh, African. Okay. Uh, add to stream. Hey, brother. I'm another mother. Hey, hey. What's good, sir? How you doing? Not much, but how are you? I'm good. I was I'm waiting good. for you on, on Tuesday. I'm like, yo, what's going on? And I see you say, oh, no lie today. I'm like, yeah. ah. I'm sorry about that, man. We we really no, don't have to apologize. Much. Hello, you have your own yeah. life. You don't have to answer to me. <laughs> oh no, I, but no, I appreciate you know everybody. It, um, it, it's just been a lot going on. It, we we've been busy. It's been a lot of this, a lot of that. But um, yeah, I had to. You know, anytime I see you up here, I, I got to got to jump in if i can because we just now kind of getting back into the into the groove of stuff you got the garden looking good and i'm learning some stuff too oh thanks do you mind turning up your volume um because i'm outside i'm having a hard time hearing you okay not because of you because i'm outside <clears throat> no 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 it's cool is that better oh that's better yes thank you okay okay i yeah. see your comment nikki i'm gonna i'm gonna spray these spider mites i think i've i've been messing up my garden by spreading moving them around well, thanks for dropping the link, uh, G Mom. I appreciate that. But yeah, I'm, you know, you learn as you go. And yeah, I think yeah. gardening is about learning, right? None of us know everything. I guarantee, I promise you, I see bugs all and the time. And I think that your I've environment affects what you're, how you experience. Like you, people think you're in a hot climate, but you're not in a hot climate. You're in a, your climate is the same as mine. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty closely aligned, which is crazy. Um, And in the, in the, even in the peaks, peak summer months over here we're actually still cooler than you know roughly three hours in either direction because of specifically where we situated in in this mountainous area so you know yeah all of that plays a plays a part it play a fact into it yeah it all plays a, a part so i'm just trying to figure out what works here and get the most bang for my buck and i'm trying to get my I didn't think I had a fall garden, but we actually do have, I guess we can call it a fall garden season. So I'm going to get some mm -hmm. stuff done because that will take us to Canadian Thanksgiving, which is October or, or that's Halloween, October 31st. But, um, yeah. And then after that, that's when it kind of, kind of gets, um, you know, too cold. So you have to kind of move into a, either a outdoor greenhouse or hoop house and then indoors. But my peach yeah. tree, guys, I don't know, hands in the dirt. You know, those of you guys from the south, my peach tree ain't looking too, too, too <laughs> good. Like, it's dry and brittle. What's I see more it? buds happening. I, I you know, the down here looks alive, but I don't know what's going on. And I see, is this yeah, that... another peach tree shooting up here? I don't know if that's a weed or... I don't know what's happening. I'm watering, but I'm going to pot that's... her up. Yeah. But I don't think she's happy. I don't know. I, I don't. That's actually a hands in the dirt question. I mean, if yeah. you're talking about those a palm of you from tree, from the, like, from you know from Georgia, known for peaches. My pear tree's doing okay. You guys can see she's you know she has a couple little peaches. I'm gonna go buy mm -hmm. some organza bags, and you'll see bags upon all, all my fruit because squirrels are just disrespectful. But there's a couple of small pears on here, and again, it's a spider mite. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hey, spray the tree. Hands in the dirt said, "Are you fertilizing it?" I don't know if you can see the chat. I, can see I put chat. I put two fertilizer sticks in there, but maybe I need to give her some more. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pot her up because she's not really potted. She's just in. I'm going to put her in a 17-gallon 17, 17 pot, and I'll maybe do some heavy because I think the fertilizer is just running running out. Mm -hmm. um, I put the sticks in there, but I think it's just running out. The fig is doing good because the fertilizer, like it's staying in there, and the, the pear, I've never potted her up, and she's still giving me fruit. But okay. The peach may be a bit, you know, every every plant is different, so you gotta adjust. I think she just needs a bit more. Like I thought this was a bud, but mm -hmm. I don't think she. Yeah, she ain't too happy. She's giving me the side eye, so I better go deal with that. <laughs> better give and her then a little food. Is shooting up. And again, my marigolds look like a hot mess. They well now look how slow they are. They should have been like four feet tall by ah, now. Come on. Come on, like give, yourself little, give yourself some credit. Give yourself some credit. Come on, I mean, they look great. Come on, fam. I wanted them bigger. I guess go bigger, go home, right? I guess not. <laughs> you know how big a part. You know how big a part of being patient <laughs> is with gardening. Be patient. Oh, she needs more sun, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna pot her up today in a 17 gallon bucket. I'm gonna fertilize her, and I'm gonna move her. 
So one of those three things should be working within 10 days. So I'm going to, I'm going to put her up top there next to, and then see if she likes it up there better. It's okay. She's from Costco. So it doesn't matter to me. I can return her. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. That's what I'm going to like buy a cut, right, Char? We love Costco. Yeah. They'll take, hey, it, they'll take it back. And I love your conversation uh, what you were saying earlier. Oh, before I forget, shout out to Hands in the Dirt and any other veterans that may be in the uh, chat. Thank y'all for y'all service, for real. But the, the conversation about the um the hybrids and stuff, it sometimes you just it's so it's so refreshing hearing other people say that. I know it's still kind of like an opinion thing, but at the same time, it's more of a fact thing because in 2022. As far as, especially as far as uh, edible vegetation goes, was not a hybrid. What I, I mean, everything been crossed to a certain point, man. I have to. I, people feel the same way about cows, you know. So I don't even get into that conversation no more because it's like, okay, however you feel. Well, even dogs, feel, right? Aren't dogs yeah, from selective breeding for thousands of years? And they're not. G <laughs> they're not classified as GMO. They're not classified as, you know. Um, exactly, man made, unless it's the ones that were made in the actual lab, like that sheep, the cloning, like that now is, yeah, that's GMO. Right. But right. I'm going to talk about that. Like, I want to talk about that next week, like where we can have some time to, like, I want to dig up some facts and some, some definitions and then, you know, throw them in there so it's more, you know, some more facts in there. But I mm -hmm. have no problem with mm -hmm. hybrids. So then it's like, I kind of left that, you know, purist, like, you know, this alkaline people. I'm like, I'm sorry, everything's hybrid. And I have no problem eating broccoli. If you think it's a hybrid and, and it's a problem, then I'm I have no problem with it. Right. Selective right. breeding has been done from Darwin. Like that's what the whole book was about. Selective breeding it's and animals so adapting to their environment. And that includes crops. You think that the, exactly. the crops are not breeding that like selectively breeding on their own without man intervention? They're doing that on their right. own. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, because I could be, but I'm gonna ask you since this is kind of a topic of discussion. Ain't them little baby corns or those? That's real corn, if I'm not mistaken, or the original corn how it grew, and the corn that we consume today, the sweet corn, the whatever, all the different names it got. Uh, ain't, ain't that been been kind of played with and tampered with? So it's the size that it is, and and the sweetness that it is, and all of that. Cause I mean, it's hell finding sweet corn over here. Honestly, and isn't wouldn't grafting be considered man-made? I would think so. I would think it qualifies. If I'm grafting, right? once somebody had the 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 wherewithal to figure out that okay, if I put you know a certain tree on a on a on a root stock that is more resilient, you know, mm -hmm. we've been grafting in in Jamaica for generations. That was a whole thing. That's how people survived yeah. and, and grew their food and grew the trees yep. in a faster pace. Is that GMO? No, that's just you know. Farmers being ingenious and, and and adaptive, yeah, ingenious and adaptive, and also what you say about the um, oh, it was something else you said earlier before I even jumped in. Um, ah, oh, it was related to this. It'll come back to me in a minute, mm -hmm, but it, mm -hmm. it was it was on the lines of ah, oh, I'm getting old, y'all. It'll come back to me, but it's the same yeah, thing. I back. mean, everything is is is. I mean. Look, if you think about the billions and billions of people that have existed before us, you, you know, I ain't going to say ain't nothing new under the sun because some stuff is, but a whole bunch of it ain't. I mean, you know, it's, it's not novel. The fact that people have been playing with, with agriculture, with animals, with chemicals and all of this stuff for, for literally like millennia, not just centuries. We talking about tens of thousands of years. So, yeah. You know, I don't. I don't even think food. I, I mean, the, the good morning hands in the dirt. Hey, Planter Garden TV. Sorry, to cut you oh, off. Shit. I'm just saying. Hey, no, you good. Morning, morning. Going on. Oh, no. Not much, man. Looks how I did back then. What's up, bro? What's going on? You trying to scare people with that with that pedicure picture you're putting up there in these streets. Man, I saw with that. These, thing with hammer on. toes. I saw that oh, thing on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> like I know I need a pedicure hands in the dirt, but that's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> this man retarded. Hey, I saw it on uh TikTok. I said, let me put Oh, you froze up. Oh, he froze up. Okay, is it me? Oh no, it's not me. I'm I'm just going no, to the Wi Fi to make moving. okay to make sure that I'm good. Hey Angela's Camus Delight. Uh, it's all right, Angela. You get on whenever you can. You know, you come on whenever you can. 
Yeah, I'm outside. Um, I wanted to show y'all this uh, these cucumbers that I, um, you know, they they hidden in but between the, on this bush. Look at these things, man. I don't know if y'all can see them. I don't know how to flip this camera around. Can no, we we see it. I see yeah. them. They're yellow. Oh, are they overripe? Yeah, but look up. Those some fat rascals, ain't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to the compost bin. Um, they get lost sometimes, you know, you behind other stuff and you don't see them. Yeah, fighting, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fighting a losing battle with these cucumbers right now and some of my melon with all this. Aren't those, good, aren't those good for seed, um, <clears throat> seed harvesting? They could be, but I ain't gonna fool with that. Now, I, I am harvesting the seeds from my melons. I shot a video, I probably won't release it for another day or two. Um, from some of the melons that I, I harvest, I'm saving. Oh, let me show you your, your pea that you sent me. I uh, hands the dirt. I only planted one though, cause I planted it this year for to get seeds. Okay. That um sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah. So she's whoops, my rag. She gave me about she gave me three so far. I've been eating them, and there's another okay. one right there. Okay. But yeah, I think I need man. to. I think I need to up pot her. She's not happy there. I love me some sugar daddy. They are good. I eat them right out the garden. But I ate three sweet peas so far. They're good. Okay. You're feeding yourself then. Three sweet peas is better than no sweet pea. Real talk. Yeah. You know they're sweet when they end up being eaten in the garden and not in the house, not in the pot. Yeah, yeah. Mine, that's what happens. You just crunch, mine. crunch, crunch in them. Yeah, that's what happens with mine. Hold on, let me just check, check my mic because my mic is... My mic... We hear okay. you. Yeah, your mic good. Hey, hands, I take my chances with dropping them suckers in some pickle juice and and praying for the best. Yeah. I, I <laughs> them fat rascals, man. Yeah. I am going to make some pickles today, but I came out and harvest a lot of pickles yesterday. And I think that may be my last round of pickles. Hey, Nick and Nick. That may be my last round of pickles, man. I mean, pickles. Hey, Nick. Cucumbers. Because I'm having some, boy, this pottery mildew don't got out of hand. You see this? Look at this. You see how crazy that looks? Man, I'm the same is, is thing. Is the pottery mildew from the humidity? Because you weren't yeah. getting that much rain, right? Yeah, we're getting rain. Now we are. We get. Oh, you're getting rain. Hum okay. It's humidity and the water. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, that's why you water. Like a lot of cucumbers and stuff. Like move for a bit. I don't know what's going on today. Like every train is passing by. Let me just move. Let me move it's down the side. To, uh, I think they're doing some heavy, um, some moving some goods back and forth today. Because yeah. that's ridiculous. The fifth or sixth train. All right. A lot of susceptible to uh, disease. But yeah, the, the powdery milk, like I'm seeing that in my zucchinis a bit. So I, I just pruned some of the leaves off. But even my potatoes, like they look horrible, and it's not hasn't been 180 days. Like these ones are okay-ish, but this is completely died back, and I don't think I have any potatoes in in this bag. I think I'm gonna let it do wrong. It and then I'm gonna start pulling these bad boys. Now my sorrow, my sorrow is really tall. It ain't. It's not um, giving me the little flowers yet. But how many days have yours been in? I don't know. I planted this stuff back in like three months. Yeah, it's been more than three months, I believe. Yeah. Well, I know mine are flowering only because I have three months sorrow. I have a I have a hybrid that I was told that will bear in three months. You may have like the more natural one, yeah. which will take about six months. Yeah. Hey, going. I just see. It. I just found another cucumber. Oh, you found <laughs> another one? Yeah, man. Better go get him. Go. No, nah, it's too late for him. I got to get some of my deal. I got some of my deal. You talking about pickles, man. I got deal that's flowering. I need to cut all it back. I'm making pickles. I got another one. You must have some good manure, African, because all your chickens. So you, so you have good manure over there. That's all I got, fam, is, is cow poop and, and chicken poop. That's okay. all you need. There go another one. And another oh, you got another cucumber? Yeah. Damn, I see another one. Yeah, they, they uh, camouflage. I, I grow pretty thick. Damn, I, I grow stuff uh, pretty close quarters. 
and show us some good in it and there's some bad in it. You got to come here and really look through this stuff to see uh, if you have pukes and stuff in here, which I see some. But I can't complain. I had He's walking to the front because these damn trains are just taking just taking okay. out of hand. My goodness. I've yeah, had so many trains in my life. Hey, G Mama, that's a good tip. But how do you use it? You just put it in a spray bottle or milk and it on there? Yeah. Hey, in the dirt, you got your you got your fang over the mic. Oh, that was my pink fang. Yeah, people Get use your uh, fang out the way. People use milk. People use um, baking soda and all that. But I ain't. It don't got so late, man. I don't have a great harvest out of these cucumbers that I'm not worried about it now. It's about. I, in fact, some of them probably gonna get pulled because I want to make sure that my Jamaican sorrel that I got right there, you know, gets enough air and sunlight. Yeah, so I can't complain, man. My cucumbers did their thing. I pulled so many cucumbers out of that; it don't make no sense. So I, I, I consider it a, a uh, uh, successful season with those. Yeah. Yeah. But I still got plenty of lemon cucumbers growing on. I mean, I got still cucumbers growing all over the place. Um, but I do have some dying back. Let me walk over here through this jungle. Now, I hadn't picked but one of my peppers this year, even though I do have, pe oh, I need to pick this one. Cool, going to want Oh, hey, David Corey. Damn. All these bees in here. Yeah. I'm over here like uh, 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 Urban Chronicles. Uh, what's these bees? In oh, you got mosquitoes? <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nah, dude. laughs> I'm over here. Fly I'm, I'm over here throwing my hands up like I'm uh, Nikki over there with her bugs. <laughs> I found some more cucumbers. I didn't see these yesterday. Now these are good. <sighs> I, I, I need to copy your hands in the dirt. Um, your your irrigation, man. That's what's tying up my time, man. All this now, these watering. Are good. These are oh, those. Oh Russian man. They supposed to be this color. Oh, okay. They're supposed to be okay. So then you yeah. that's good. Yeah. Now I don't I don't see number deal pickle, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I told you I'm making pickles today, man. Um I wouldn't cut them in the spears. I wouldn't cut them in the slices. Them would be whole deal pickle. Look at that right there. Is that a cantaloupe? Oh, ooh, yeah. ooh, good. Woo. And you I got just... the organza bag. See, I'm gonna go buy some today. Because they ain't yeah. not my pears. Yeah, man, to keep that stuff from, I got some tomatoes, man. I don't throw away so many big tomatoes that uh, these rascals got into and destroyed my tomatoes, and they were beautiful. Now, that hurts your feeling. Yeah. Yeah, that hurts your feeling. Well, you I be packing, it. right? So you just, just pew, pew, just send them to glory. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know I got it on me. I keep Or it that on midnight me. train to Georgia. Either I one. Keep it on me. Send them over the But these are bugs. You know, these are not even the squirrels. These bugs. I can deal with a squirrel getting one or two. They got my other silver right here. Little man Chirac. Okay, good to see you. Let are we growing that stuff? Yeah, yeah I'm growing that stuff, but I don't smoke it though. Don't smoke what? He's asking, I guess, I guess cannabis or ganja. I don't oh, smoke ganja. it. I, oh. I use that for tea and for, for for ointments. I oh, hope you okay. are aware that certain things, when you're smoking them, it makes them more toxic for your system. Oh, okay. So, I don't, I don't, I don't you know. Damn! Now, something if you're that smoking it for it. health reasons, that's okay, but just for pleasure, no, no, I take the tea. Look at this. Is that, th what's that one called, um, Hands of the Dirt? It's a Korean melon. That looks nice. It looks sweet. And I haven't even seen you cut it open yet. Mm. Oh, I got a video of me cutting some open, but I got to get these out. Of it. I got to get these in the house. Yeah, I gotta, I, I gotta catch up on your videos. I'm behind some of your videos. Yeah, but I, I don't like your videos. Hands in the dirt. You eat the food in our face and don't <laughs> offer us none. You, you just smacking your lips and eating the food, and you hey, ain't offered nobody nothing. You hey, just well, sometimes, boy, that thing be hitting so different. Taunting people <laughs> over here. 
I, I didn't come out here to harvest nothing. I just came out here to look. Well, you better harvest because someone's going to eat that food. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I got a little slit on that. They trying to get in there. We ain't finna do that. Uh-uh. She said I got that pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm a country boy. We keep them things. You know, look. That's my problem. I, I things hide behind the leaves, and then you're like, you forget, you know, to check, and then before you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You done got got. But that's crazy is you come out here and check. And <laughs> you walk right by a bunch of it. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, everyone's garden's looking lush, though. I have to say, everyone's looking. I had to watch Gina's uh, latest video, but everyone's garden's is looking really bountiful. Man, my yeah, no. despite the lack of rain, despite David Corey, you're, you're listen. I want a longer video with a little two second video. Oh, David's doing this thing down there. David Texas, Corey has some things going on over there and don't really showing us in, in, in depth. David doing this thing down there in Texas. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah how yeah. does it live down there? Man. Well, he has a, a 50 foot sunflower. I haven't seen that sunflower in weeks. <laughs> oh, David, let me show you my sunflower. She don't bloom now. Now, you know, I got a bunch of them all around the garden. You know, like these right here. The one that B is on. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, yeah. But let me show you uh Matilda. That's what I'm gonna call her. This she don't finally bloom. Watch this. I'm gonna start from the bottom. Oh, we'll start from up. the bottom now. We here. <laughs> you see her? Yeah. How much is that? About ten feet? Nah, she a little taller than ten. I said okay. she's about she's about twelve feet tall. Oh wow! 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she out there showing. I only put it in the background. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, she's really tall. Can you show us your peach tree? Yeah. I'm is it too far? Are you, is it in the Wi-Fi? I don't know. Let me see. I can see one thing right now. Okay. I've been rated. I've been noticing it the last two weeks. Look at this shit. Excuse my French. You got got. <laughs> I got got. <laughs> oh. Last week, I had I got all over this tree. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. Yeah. They hit me for every. I got PCs everywhere. Yeah, they coming out at night, boy. As soon as you go in the house. They see them house lights go off. <laughs> oh man, I right, look at this. This tree was loaded. Mm -mm. They cleaned you out? They cleaned me out. Then I had some peaches on this tree. I had a few. They gone. Were they even ripe? The ones on the other tree were ripening. They were about ripe. Oh man! Boy, that's yeah. bad business. That is yeah, bad man. business right there. Yeah, yeah. And see, in between all this rain and stuff, I uh, I could look out the window and see the branches shaking. You know what I'm saying? And they was out here doing they thug thizzle. But look at my muscadine. Got plenty of grapes in here. Oh wow, that looks I've never seen a muscadine in person. Oh man, you got boy them things good. That's where you make your wine yeah. from, right? I haven't made the wine for mine. I normally eat mine. But I make oh, my wine. From, man, I, I love muscadine. Shane got enough muscadine mm -hmm. vines where he can make wine. Now I do have a big one over here. Um that's been there, I don't know. 12, 13, I don't know, 15, I don't know how long I had that thing over there. Now, it puts out a lot of muscadine. Oh, hey, James Franklin, I just saw you there. Good to see you. Yeah. What's up, James? Yeah, but That's I got the crazy. Kind of you, you didn't get one peach again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did get one. Okay, one. I tasted one. And I was like, oh, man, they need about another week or two. 
<laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong. Those squirrels say, uh, this I year, think- this year, I'm kind of saying to myself, whatever they take, not whatever, but you know, I'll take the loss this year. I'm just building my infrastructure, building my protective cages, yeah, yeah. getting my yeah. chicken sorted out, mm-hmm. and I'll kind of take the loss. They can have the fruit, some of the fruit this year. Yeah. Now this melon is growing pretty good. Uh, Ooh, that looks good. This is a petite. You know, I got to read this off the paper because I be growing all this strange stuff, y'all. You know, yeah. I'm the name of this shit. It's a petite. <laughs> <laughs> Green, <laughs> the Rennes, French melon, petite. Okay, oh, and that's oh, that, that's like a squash. Um, is that a fruit or that's a squat? Like a that's a fruit. That's okay. A fruit. Is that from Baker That's, Creek? Uh, yeah, I think I might have got that. That's from awesome. On I, oh, good morning, Rock Live, Just Living. I saw some on there, but I didn't try them. I didn't purchase them. And you see right here, I got one, two, three, four, five of them in here, and a whole bunch of babies growing. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I, I'll be happy if I can get a few melons. They got some more. Yeah, you see, we gotta be buying all mesh bags of these these gangster animals. Yeah, oh, man, I gotta put these things in mesh bag. We can't be I got, out here. I, mine's wearing a stocking. Yeah, mine out here. She get them. I put mine in a bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> she don't have organza. Yeah. She wearing a stocking cap. Do rag. Y'all got to call. Y'all got to call Monique on me. I don't care what she say. <laughs> oh yeah, don't wear no bonnet. She, she gonna cut me out. <laughs> Here go my other Jamaican. Oh, Gina, Gina has that petite watermelon too. Um, okay. You can plant greens in ground, burn the whole, sorry, burn a hole in cloth and dig a space. You burn and plant. That plant. sounds very um, oh. Caribbean style, like when they burn. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Good awesome. morning, Tanisha Armstrong. Good morning, that's Soldier awesome. Gardener. Sorry, I, I, there's a whole bunch of people um, I haven't seen before. Oh, I'm missing morning. people too. My bad. I think people, uh, someone must have shared me out. Stacy, send oh, me I some did. cucumber seeds. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm, I'm um, yeah, so she has. she's wearing her do-rag. She's doing okay. She's wearing her do-rag. And then these, this one is the um, Minnesota Midgets. And she's running. Mm-hmm. Like I'm surprised in a container. Like This plant is like running, running all over the place. Yeah, it is. She's doing good. So, and then that's some chamomile right there. She made it. So I want to transplant her. But yeah, the upper, the wow, upper, Carl's looking truck. good though. But she just, there's some kind of aphid on my Instagram. I posted, but some kind of aphid here. So I had to spray her down last night. What is that? Is that a, what is that? A lime? No, lime. what is that? Lemon. A lemon. Yeah. I wish I could grow that stuff over here. I would have to have a, um, yeah, I got some lemons. Bring it inside. My, my in house, uh, Calamundin is not all her leaves fell off. If you're not fertilizing your, your stuff in containers, and I got a zucchini here, but I gotta hide her because these squirrels, so I'm gonna put some pantyhose on her too. Yeah, because on. um they do not my zucchinis. Yeah, yeah, she needs some draws. Uh some draws, yeah. <laughs> oh, some draws on. My yeah. calamundin. <laughs> my calamundin hadn't um now my lime tree is blooming, but my calamundin. I ain't blooming, and they put out a lot of fruit last year. I don't know what's going on. I think they need some nutrients that I'm just not aware of because I'm just I, I use coffee grinds, um, stuff like that, banana water. I just throw, all yeah. This stuff I'm gonna in. have to get you know, I have I find it difficult to keep on your gardening game when you have guests and you have other things just pulling your attention, and then I don't have my yeah. sort of auto watering schedule. I need to get that because it's just too much sometimes. Yeah, bugs uh, are taking over. Spider mites are taking over because you're just not, you know. It's a lot. You just don't have the time. With. Yeah. But Ain't yeah, my sorrel's like- looking good, guys. I think I'm gonna get some sorrel this year. But what's underneath? Is this bugs underneath here? Oh, yep. And uh, that looks that like, looks like there was some kind of aphids under here. I sprayed her last night, but that's mm. under the sorrel leaves. There's some, yeah. There's some. There's something going on under here. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just gonna powder her up again tonight. Give her some some de powder. I've never used that. This is also a new plant to my garden. Sorrel is new to my garden, so it's attracting some new bugs that I never had before. 
Now, if you never oh, tried calamandas, I think calamandas are small, Gina. Aren't they the size of yeah. grapes? Mine yeah, are. calamandas are small, Gina. They're not. Don't expect nothing big. Yeah, I don't get mine didn't get too big. Mine about the size of a uh, what we call a hunchy marble. Okay. They didn't get that big. Yeah, they don't get that big, but they're very potent. Put that now, in a, put that some hot water. I'm trying to think of who that is. They had a big one in their yard. Now I don't know how big hers get. She had a big tree. I call them on the big tree. So I, don't, I didn't look to see how big her fruit get. I, I'm sure it gets bigger than what I have. You know, I'm sure it does. Yeah, my time is looking a little. I have to make sure I read make let certain plants reseed. I didn't do a good job of letting like the scallions reseed. And yeah. there's like five left. I had a whole bed. So I have to go yeah. get um some seed heads from my parents' garden and just drop them all here. Let them so that beetle that likes to to eat the seeds and like all the stuff, I think it's really taking a num doing a number. And then these so guys look a little So you rob thing. your parents' garden. No, we work together. So I, oh, I, it's like cold. it's like one mega garden that's not together. So stuff from here, I take over there, and I try some things in pots and some things in ground there because they have a uh, they're totally in ground. Mine is a mixture mm -hmm. of both. So I I test things out and they test things out here to see okay is it is it the location, is it the in ground versus the container or is it just there's bugs over there that are not over here. So we're yeah, kind of like yeah. that can happen a lot too. Yeah, because yeah, even in the same neighborhood, you're seeing bugs over here. Like I have never seen that squash bug before in my life, but I am the only one growing tomatillos. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out, you know, that kind of thing. So we're like we work together because the plan is we're gonna get one big mega property, and and have the aging parent, you know, everyone yeah, just yeah. stay in one house, yeah, or yeah. like two houses on one big property. Yeah, where people can have their own things. space, but we're working together. Because for me, of, having my own that. garden and helping with their garden, I think is as too much work. I think if it was one mega garden in one property, it would yeah. be less work for yeah. each of us if we're all working together. Yeah. Because I got to mow yeah. my lawn, they got to mow their lawn. That makes I sense. got to water, like it's just double. Everything is double. Yeah. My mom, she didn't put in one this. Uh... You know, we had all this crazy weather and whatnot. So she didn't put a garden in, but I told her, well, normally I go over there and set a garden up. But we'll set something up this fall when it's cooler. Mm -hmm. Because I normally go over there and do her garden. Uh, but I told her as far as the summer garden, um, I grow enough. That's why I grow all this stuff. She doesn't really have to put a garden. It just gives her something to do. I mm -hmm. told her to come over here. She don't came over here and got several bags of stuff. And now that this okra, boy, that okra tastes so good. Let me give me another. Now that this okra is uh, starting to do its thing, um, she can come over here and, and start getting her some bags of okra. And uh, yeah, I think a summer garden in your in your climate for an elderly person is like, nah, don't waste your time. Yeah, but it's my too much. It's too much. It's shaded. Yeah. Hers is shaded. Get some sunlight. Oh, so she's not gonna be out in the burning in, in the burning sun. Do that anyway. <laughs> Cause that's why my dad is not really outside. Cause it's like it's too much, man. It's like he's already slim. Like we're thicker, but he's slim, so he can't handle. You know, he don't have any any weight to him, so he can't be out melting in the sun. <laughs> I'm not hearing your hands. I think you muted yourself, or you're covering your got fingers. Your pinky finger. Your pinky finger, man. Your panky finger. Your panky finger. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a pull some of these. That man uh, took my panky finger and ran with it. Some of these cucumbers, man. Uh, they looking bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. David that's King, stuff, trees like to yeah. be in the ground. Yeah, we know, David, but sometimes you guys got to do what you got to do. Because I don't want to have to rebuy these trees. So I want to just keep them in the containers, a bigger container. And then when I move, um, mm -hmm. all these trees are coming with me and they'll go and ground there. Yeah, I don't even know where I want to plant all my trees. That's why I got I got a bunch of them in ground. Mm -hmm. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trees in ground. 
Um, man, so all together, you got about 16, 17 trees, bro. All together. Six, seven, eight. I got 10 trees in ground. And then I got uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got thirteen of them, if, unless I miscount it. I'm not counting. I'm not counting the blueberries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's plump one, two, three. Okay. It sounds four, like you a lot of you got a lot of trees. Yeah, a lot. You got a lot of trees. I know you bought a whole bunch of new ones. Uh, yeah. Your last video you did, and then you, you were planting the, those sticks in buckets. So. Yeah, I got twenty. I got thirteen, and I'm not counting. Well, if you count them figs over there, fourteen, fifteen. If I count the figs, and then all the small figs, I'm not counting them. Or the blueberries. Yeah. So I don't know about. Yeah, if you got a, if you got a, a large acreage, yeah, you can put them in the ground. But for me, I'm I'm debating. So I'm. I don't know where I want to put them. That's the that problem. too. Like, and whatever you plant mm -hmm. them is going to affect the soil. There is going to suck up the new. Like it's going to affect other things. Yeah, I don't know where. I yeah, want and they're going to be there. Yeah, and they're heavy feeders, so you got to figure out. You know, oh, everything yeah. has has a consequence or a reaction, so you got to figure out what's going to work best. But well, my whole thing is not so much as none of that. It's the grass cutting. You that too. So I That's have the to consequence, sure, right? <laughs> yeah, I got to make sure that I got exactly. far enough away from the fence over there that I can get my lawn. I got a, my lawn was a 48 inch cut. So it cuts four feet at a time. So I have to make sure I get my lawn on the backside of it and in between the trees. Um, because I ain't trying to be doing too much pushing and all that, even though my lawn mower clunked out on me last week. I think a belt jumped off or something. Yeah. And I had to go and pull it with my truck because you, my lawnmower weighs nine hundred pounds. So I had to come pull that bad boy with my truck. Uh, but that's the biggest thing. Like, can I get my mower through it? Um, there's enough space between it. Um, and then when you go too close to the fence, which is what I don't like about my house, the neighbor's tree roots are coming on your side and affecting your borderline so that you can't plant there so yeah. i'm having a hard time planting there because their roots are so it's like yeah yeah you you're know right that. you're right about that yeah yeah my driveway is busted up on this side because of my neighbor's tree and um i talked to him about it because one of the branches the branches be falling in my driveway and one of them fell in hit star car and broke her window they paid for it but I'm like, man, y'all need to get that tree dropped, bro. That thing is way too big. I'm talking about this is a huge oak. Huge oak. And I get all these leaves, and I don't have any trees in my front yard. But I get all these leaves in the fall from his tree. Yeah. I'm going to have to uncover some of these things because this uh, the, the You got a lot going on. Yeah, I got a lot growing, man. And I'm I have about I gotta plant these things here that are just still not planted. So I'm gonna plant them today. What is that? Um the the moth was laying eggs on them yeah. in on my veranda. I got some three um uh, honeydew melons over there. I got some echinacea from somebody over there and they gave me some of their old flowers. Oh, that's a cannabis. And then um, you know, so I'm gonna get some more stuff planted. But yeah, I got like I don't have to go to the store. During the summertime, I, was, I don't go to the I, store, but all I need now to do is worry about my meat and my my egg um, production, and then I'll be a bit more self sufficient. I wish I knew. Let me rethink that. What I was about to say. No, I think you really freeze up. Oh, sorry, you froze up their hands. I didn't hear. No, no. I, I I know when he stopped. Oh, I stopped myself. Oh, you stopped yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the middle of my I thought. thought you froze up. <laughs> no, nah, I only do that when people ask me to come do something. <laughs> when they ask you for an offering or they ask you. <laughs> they ask me, I'll be like. And you freeze up. <laughs> I'll be like. Uh, 
That's how my neighbors are. I don't have any fruit, any trees other than fruit trees. They have huge trees. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, have a lot, I have a lot growing, but I am going to expand. So I have two in-ground beds. I want to get the third one ready, and I'm going to assemble the fourth one, which is in the box over there still. So I'm going to assemble that one yeah. and, yeah, get it together. And I want them all filled with dirt. And so that next spring, I can just ready to start planting. Yeah. I'm not going to worry mm -hmm. about planting all the beds, but if I got the dirt, because I don't have enough compost to fill any of those beds. So I don't have to buy store-bought dirt, which means potentially chemicals and whatever crap is in that dirt. So I'm going to yeah. give the worms time to do their thing in the soil yeah. and, um, you know, clean up that dirt and put some leaves down. And then next spring, I'll, I'll plant in it. Man, I hadn't picked Hey, Duval. Things. Is Duval there? Hey, Duval. I didn't, I didn't, um. She just, she just jumped. Oh, in. I see her there now. Hey, Duval. Hey, I had picked these green beans. I'd have been ashamed. It's been weeks. They don't went to seed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all uh, mid now, but to the chicken. I wish I had. Some and chicken. hey, blind guy, I saw you there earlier, but I was he was talking. But yeah. Hey. Oh, I, I ain't even see that. Hey, hey, blind guy. Yeah. Hey, so, blind do guy, you buy blind. a lot of seeds, hands in the dirt? Because you seem to be Maybe like harvesting seeds. Hold on, y'all. Oh, sorry, Adam. Yeah, I buy seeds, but I do harvest a lot of seeds. So the video that I shot yesterday, um, what I was, you know, I tried three different melons that I grew. Mm -hmm. I harvest all of the seeds from all three of those. I have these little bags. I, you know, I label them and then I put them in these little bags. Um, but I do buy a lot of seeds still because it's a lot of things that I like. I like experimenting in my garden. I like trying yeah. different stuff. Um, I don't like to grow the same things every year. Like this okra that I'm growing right here, this heavy hitter okra. I never grown this particular okra before. I've grown the Clemson spineless. That's the one I mainly grow. But it's supposed to be such a prolific okra. Um, and I can see it starting to do its thing and how it's, it's gotten. I'll probably grow that one forever more. You know what I'm saying? I really like that. Um, and then I do have one other okra over there that, uh, Virtuous Gardener sent me some seeds from a Louisiana okra, mm -hmm. and I got one of those, and you can see it's tall, like normal okra, but this heavy hitter okra doesn't get any taller than about three feet, and it's a, it bushes out, and um, it's supposed to be prolific, so it's starting to put on and put out a bunch of okra now, so I'll probably grow that because I don't, you know, all that trying to pull the okra down to pick it in. I'd rather just be able to look directly over the top of it. And then it's a top growth type of okra. Yeah, so I'm always buy seeds. Um, yeah, I like, I like to try interesting things, especially with watching y'all, what you're growing. I'm like, okay, let me try it. Like, that's why I'm trying the Minnesota midgets. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay, that's a cute little, little cantaloupe. And it's perfect for your climate. And in my video, that's what I was saying. Like, like if you stay in a climate where you don't have a long growing season, these Minnesota midgets are perfect. Um, mm -hmm. because they, it doesn't take that long, and when I tell you, they are sweet and juicy. Oh yeah, my, my next like one, sweet I'm and not, juicy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you know I like them sweet and juicy. Nikki like them young, and tender, like <laughs> young and tender. That, that means sweet and juicy too. <laughs> yeah, she like them young and tender. I like them sweet. They and go juicy. together. Yeah, yeah. I like when you push on. Y'all know I don't, I don't see no big watermelons over here. Like like how I did back in Texas. I mean, they not midgets. They not the super small ones, but they 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 kind of proportional size. Man, I say maybe pff, nothing over maybe six pounds. You know, just they yeah. taste good. They real sweet. They all got seeds. I hadn't come across none without no seeds, and I haven't grown any of my own since we've been over here. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, they all up and down the roadside, man. They a fruit stands like liquor store. Over yeah, here. you know, everybody's selling fruit everywhere in, yeah. in the hood. And uh, so I don't I don't uh I don't know if that if that I don't I don't know exactly why that is, but you know, some of y'all done seen some of them supersize uh watermelons. I mean the big it's 12, just variety doggone, almost it's a 15 variety. Pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They just grow a different variety. They you know, they're growing what works in that area. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Very yeah. true. I guarantee you, if you gave them some seeds from some Jubilees and Charles and Grays and blah 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 and all these different things, they could grow those also. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. But if it ain't broke, I'm going to show y'all my Charleston Gray. Don't fix it, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fill this pot with some dirt. I see it. Can you see it? Because I don't know which way this camera. You see that Charleston Gray? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I see it. Hold on, let me put you on big. Hold on, let me put you on the. Let me put you on the big screen. These are some Sorrentes. This is another French melon. You like you like the fancy French stuff, eh? Yeah, I got some Sorrentes. Yeah, he do. We we in in Europe too long. Just we can't say. You bougie. We should call you hands in the bougie. Hand in the bougie. He real bougie. He, he bougie, bougie, bougie. Hand, <laughs> Real bougie. Yeah, but uh, yeah, those are my my grays. And then here, these are the orange meat watermelons right here. Yeah, bro. But we call them yellow, here, meat, yellow meat watermelon. Yeah, but um. In my video, I'm eating a honey rock, a honey rock, a Korean melon, and a Minnesota midget. And the Minnesota midgets, man, are so good. The next one, I'm just going to cut in half, mm -hmm. scoop the seeds out, because when I cut them into strips and you know and cut them up to put it in a little container i lost a lot of the juice yeah. my juice is everywhere so next time I'm just gonna uh, 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 oh they were they were juicy juicy oh yeah they were yeah they were all <laughs> creature you know what i'm saying yeah i want to fucking get this look at this deal this is what i was talking about hand the dirt you know wow. i'll we'll talk later but but no nah, let me get you on yeah. solo look at that deal man oh wow that's some... a lot of deal and uh, and that's the deal we just planted not long ago, but uh, wow, you know, I was man. we were coming out doing it like we do everything else and um, cutting you know little bits off and making making pickles and it just kept going and kept going. Wow. Next thing and you know, it's half. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got to go ahead and knock it down. So we're gonna make a whole bunch of pickles here over the next couple. Oh, of that's days. that's good for seasoning and, uh, too, man. Chips. Mm. I know, and I we got enough to do it. Chips, so we, man. Mm. Wow, man. We love pickles over here. We love pickles. Yeah, yeah, I'm but, on uh, I'm doing some. I'm doing some today. I need to be doing it now while it's still a little cool. But it's humid out here. Yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. coming up, man. We had 90-something percent humidity the other day. Man, you as see Nicky walk outside earlier. Wet. I'm talking about all the way to your underwear, everything wet. I don't so see humid it. here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll do like this, and then it'd be uh, it'll rain for uh, over in the night, man. And it just it, the ground get dry, the soil get dry pretty quick. But the thing is, it's it's constantly like kind of damp. Yeah, That's the downside. yeah. And that little that white that white uh that powdery mildew. Powdery we mildew. harvested some mustard greens, and man, it, it just kept coming back. I, I literally it was you know when it first started or when I first caught it, I was out here kind of wiping at it, and I was like this. It ain't gonna go away, huh? And I ain't gonna no. put too much on it. But how do you use that buttermilk y'all were talking about? Um, G Mama was talking about earlier. G Mama said that, and I heard someone say that in the past. Yeah. Or someone's cleaning mm -hmm. out his limbs. But I think you, you put in the spray yeah. ball and you spray it, at least some kind yeah, of coating, and it stops the powder milk. And, and I think it works it. because at this rate, like nothing else is really working for most of us. Yeah, that, now that Nemo, humidity in yeah. the air just keeping I it. I spray just... neem oil, and neem oil helps kills it. But, neem oil, okay. But the problem with it is, uh, the fast I spray it, then it's raining. So we've been getting a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. I'm spraying, 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 then it's raining, raining, raining. Um, and once you deal with it, it keeps hopping. That like the spores just hop from one thing to the next. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, never hard. Put, yeah. I never put this stuff in my compost, like. Uh, when I pull these cucumbers and all this stuff up out of here with this powder mill, do now some people can mm -hmm. do it because they can get their compost hot enough to kill the spores. Um, and I probably mine oh, probably uh, yeah. is hot enough, but I just throw mine in the woods. Yeah, I just pull it and throw it in the yeah. woods and put it in the compost and let nature like clean it up. Yeah, yeah, let it yeah. die down and. 
do whatever it's going to do. I do it that way. And that's just me. Um, well, that's what's safer for your garden because you want to bring, bring it right back in again. Yeah, I don't know if I can. And that's the thing, man. Yeah. Uh, Everybody got to do what works for them in their region. I mean, I get a lot of good tips from y'all, but some of the stuff that, that people do on a regular basis, I either ain't got access to that kind of uh, stuff uh, or uh, uh, the environment here is just too different. So, like, me and Hand the Dirt and talked about a, a couple of times. Uh, he gave me some suggestions like, bro, you know, you got – you remember you? we talked about this, talked about that. Oh, you can make your own bone meal uh, by doing X, Y, Z. I was like, oh, hell, I can, can't I? And then he was yeah. like, you can do such and such and such and such by, uh, you know, we, remember we talked about the fish, some yeah, of the stuff I yeah. use for my feet. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. that you know, it's like it's a lot of different techniques. Well, do the farmers there, African, do the farmers there who butcher their own um, animals, do they put the bones in the, in the, grind it up and put them in the soil? They do not, ma'am. <laughs> they do not, but I, I will. I don't think much going oh. into the. I don't think it's much left when they butcher animals. Yeah, they use everything. The rooter to the tutor. Use the rooter to the tutor. Rooter to the tutor. Rooter to the tutor. Uh, but nobody that I know of, I ain't saying ain't nobody doing it. But uh, I haven't heard of anybody uh doing what uh hands in the dirt gave me the idea to do, the suggestion to do, and that was grind them suckers down. It's easy to yeah. go to a grinder. Um. A lot of farmers, they either grow everything they feed their chickens, and if you do get chicken feed, um, a lot of them make their own. I just don't have – I'm not finna tear the loo when I got up, but a lot of people, uh, they grind their own chicken feed. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Like, over here, stuff is really, really basic. Um, yeah. The people that I know from over here, from the Caribbean, they like – you know, this is how we do it either back in Jamaica or this is how we do it in yeah. Trinidad or, you know, yeah. this. So it's very similar in that regard. But, yeah, y'all, I'm it's it's basic, real basic. Uh, I learned from a lot of the local farmers how they do what they do. And uh, it can be a, a slower, more tedious process because it ain't a whole lot of weed killing stuff either. It's like you get out there and pick it. I'm, I'm serious. I know that sounds crazy. Yeah, but some people do use chemicals, and a whole bunch of other folks they get out there, and, and that's a whole day task. Is there you go? I pull weeds doing that right there. I mm -hmm. pull weeds, man. Yeah, because if you don't, they're yeah. gonna take over. They're gonna take right over. Yeah, they're I gonna take weeds. over. They sure will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, after dream, you got access. Like when I saw that chicken fertile, uh, that chicken food, that chicken bee, mm -hmm. and you told me it was fish. Yeah. I was like, oh man, you in yeah. there, man? The, you, you know what? That's yeah, yeah. You didn't got You can. You didn't even got to grind it if you don't want to. And it's already dry, and that's something. Uh, uh, Put it down Earl, in the Earl dirt. Garden Chronicles touched. Put it in the dirt, man put in the dirt and you know you can buy that separately as just feed by itself now they they do have the beginners uh and they got different stages depending on whether you got broilers or layers and whether yeah. you got uh young chickens or older chickens mm -hmm. but uh, or i say adolescent and mature but those bags of small fish like that you can literally buy 20 pound bags of those as many as you need as many as you want and like you said, you really don't even have to grind them down, man. You can just you can throw them in your compost pile. Uh, you might have a, fruit, a few critters, but then again, you might not. Um, yeah. I've made some, I've did it in small stages here and there, and I haven't had no problems with critters digging them up. Because it ain't really, it ain't really like possums around here. It ain't raccoons around here, because there's other bigger stuff that'll come eat it. Yeah. Uh, you got a lot of cats. But cats do their job because they they keep snack uh snakes and, mm -hmm. and rats away. So yeah, the only thing you don't mind really the cats, dig yeah. it up a I don't mind. Oh, I'll be happy to see them. Damn, just found another cucumber. I'll be happy. Well, you got cucumbers everywhere. Yeah, look at it. It almost got too big. 
I just happen to see that it. needs to be a dill pickle right there, bro. It that is. Needs to be they, a they're deal going pickle. in the pickling. I thought I was doing some pickling today, bro. I just sitting here looking. I'm like, there's my cucumber behind mm -hmm. that leaf. Yeah, because I bet I'm if you take your time and go look real good, you probably got about 20, 30 cu cucumbers head off in there, man. Hey, man. And I call myself when I come out here looking good. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of this stuff can camouflage behind these leaves. True. And, uh, True. You miss it. I just happened to look and I said, that looked like, at first I thought it was a melon. And I'm like, I ain't got no melon that grow long looking like, you know what I mean? I said, there might be a cucumber and that's what it was. But yeah, I'm going to do a lot of pickling today. So I'm really thinking that this is going to be my, maybe my last hurrah on most of my cucumbers because a lot of them are dying back. And yeah. that's fine with me because um, I can pull those once I see that they're not producing, they just all the way dead. And I can mm -hmm. give that, I can fertilize that part of the ground and give it a chance to rest. And um, yeah, I could go ahead and amend that and give it a chance to rest. And then that'll also give the stuff that I got growing behind it a chance to uh, get more air. You know, so you get that air flow yeah, through there. Yeah. That keeps down diseases too. Yeah. But the one good thing about this particular patch of cucumbers I got right here, I use mm -hmm. that little yarn method to make the uh, trellis. So all yeah. I got to do is cut the yarn and all of it come down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Well, that's the thing I was thinking, man. I, you got that. You get between your irrigation system and that trellising system, man. I, I, I'd be tempted to do it again, but I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna grow no more. Like going, try to go into the fall. Um, yeah. I, I got to get these greens. Get ready for these greens, man. Y'all know how we like collard greens and turnip greens and mustard greens and kale. Yeah. 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 I want to try to grow some of that top soy. I've never grown that, so I'm going to try to grow some of that. Then I got this funky little salad. Look at that. I'm going to send this to Nikki. I forgot the name of it. I need to hurry up and put an envelope send it to her. Um, I got it from Baker's Creek. They sent it to me for free when I ordered some seeds. I think, you know, when I looked at it, I said, this is up Nikki's alley right here. This type of salad, you know, she's into, she can grow them salads. Now, yeah. I grew some good salads last year. I mean, earlier this year. Yeah, she be making them too, boy. She makes yeah, 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 yeah. real pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she be putting her hands on them. So, I'm like, this would be something perfect for her style of growing. I grow some salad, but not as much as maybe she does. Yeah, I may grow like mm -hmm. two or three trays and that's good. We'll eat off that. And that's good enough for us, you know, because it puts out a lot. So yeah. That's good enough yeah. for us. But I am I got some neighbors that you you on that you on that uh on that on that raised bed kick, man. And that's something that uh I think I'm gonna have a lot more success with in the future because being in these mountains, man, the soil is just so rocky. You got people who've been growing in areas for since before I was even born and they still go through and be picking out rocks. I mean, it's just, it's rocky. The soil is good, but it comes with a lot. And then the constant weed and stuff over large areas. So that's why we got like our herbs and stuff where we grow them. We got our greens and stuff where we grow them. And we got most of the lemongrass and, and other little stuff like that where we grow it. And the rest we do in, in containers and we have a, a decent amount of success with containers because it's a little bit more controlled. Yeah. So I have to use raised beds, man. This ground up under here, man, is when I be trying to dig a hole to put my trees in, man, I'm hitting rocks. And I used to have trees in my backyard. I got them all cut down, just about all of them. I should have, I, I was yeah. cheap on this one. I got cheap and I should have went on paid the man to cut this daggone tree. But anyway, I still got, uh, yeah, man, I was trying to do them. I was trying to, you know, talk them down. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got tree roots. It's rocks. It's whatever these folks, when they was grading this up, whatever they planted, I mean, buried up under here. Gravel, yeah. uh, pieces of concrete, all kind of stuff up under there, man. So I'm not saying it would be impossible for me to plant in ground, but it's very hard for me to plant in ground with a lot of my uh, yeah. Because the ground got so much rocks and 
debris and all kind of stuff up under there. Once you get below the grass, just like right here, I'm going to show you where I got this erosion at. Look at this right here. This was up under my, you see that? Yeah. That's what's up under there. Yeah, that same kind of stuff, man. See that? That's yep. a piece of brick. And it's a whole lot of gravel that they put in here. You know, mm -hmm. so that's and and it's the same way here. You know what? When people, because people build homes here and they also deconstruct homes, the difference yeah. is, like in the States, most of the homes are, are obviously wood frames, and, except for apartment-style buildings or whatever. Yeah. So over here uh if they tear it down anything that's sal salvageable right some of that material a lot of that material can be reused and then you just end up with an area of land that's that's you know from where people don't salvage material and it's the same thing man it's like like a construction site the, of course you know the earth's gonna reclaim what it's gonna reclaim but you go down right. two three feet and then you start hitting all this stuff where hell you might hit a whole slab yeah yeah, yeah. so it, it get complicated i don't even have to go that deep <laughs> yeah you get below my grass line and you see man all of the rocks of gravel man i used to have grass right here but the water eroded the grass off and exposed um all the crap up under there so what i'm gonna have to do right here is i'm gonna have to buy some sod and put some sod over that yeah I can't grow grass right mm -hmm. now. So, but you know, sod got his own soil. So, I'll put some sod right there. I'll maybe one pallet because a pallet is about 500, yeah. a little bit over 500 square feet of pallet. So, yeah, I'll put some sod right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, hey, y'all. I, I just got back back inside and, and looked at, at the chat. Yeah. Thank y'all. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's deal. That is, that's a deal. Yeah. That's, yeah. You're, yeah yours is I'm very not, big. Um, that that deal is crazy, yeah. bro. You got down with that. I ain't even walking over there to my herb table because it's wet out here. That grass is wet. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it ain't nothing but manure, man. That's all I got. That's all you need. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see. And, and I'm not a master. Too. I'm not a gardener like that, man. I'm I'm learning, we learning. Me and April get out there and do the best we can. And when we need help, we ask questions for depending on what we're growing. Yeah. Uh, you know, the stuff we grow here around the house, this is more for us. And then we, we got a bigger project, but that's 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 shared with other people. So uh any questions on that, you know, I can typically just go straight to them and um mm -hmm. get everything squared away. But I learned good morning for you bring up, and good morning, growing out the box. Going out the box. What's going on, brother? Yeah, what's going on, brother? What's good, brother? But yeah, I I was digging yeah. in my soil, and it's like same thing. I hit this brick, hitting brick. I couldn't <laughs> even get the stake in the ground to stake up my tomatoes. It was so tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. you know, it's crazy. And this has been five years of gardening, you yeah. know, and it's like it's still <laughs> still tough. Mhm. Mm the soil still com recompacting itself. Yeah. Um, it's just frustrating sometimes. I see a tomato in there calling my name. I just don't feel like going over in that jungle. I promise you. you go over there, get make your sam sandwich, your tomato sandwich. Yeah, I don't wanna uh, I'm trying to get all these tomatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna make some uh I picked one. I got tomatoes on the back side of that. And in the bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, my pink finger. I said, move your pinky. Yeah. Move, move your pinky finger. finger. Yeah, it's blocking the mic, bro. And I hate going over here, man. How can you but hate if you planted it over there, brother? How you hate it? You know, when you planting it, <laughs> you put it over when, there. When you planting it, you ain't thinking about it's going to grow into a jungle. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. We got, got fun again. Behind up under this stuff. Good God, I might look at the size of that tomato. Oh my God, that's got to be a pound. That's we can't see it. Show it. Show it. Get, get, Hold on. Let me put you on big screen. I don't know if y'all oh, can that, see yeah, it. Oh, it's in, a, it's in an organza bag. Oh, you ain't playing. Look at the size of that tomato, man. Looks like a, a, a that's a big like, like a melon. Yeah, it big. does. But I come to get this one right here. See, there you blessed. go. 
Let me zip my bag back together. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's one the of them state that... fair tomatoes, boy. Huh? Man, that's a big tomato. That's one of them state fair. You, yeah, you, you can. That's yeah, you can win a prize for that one. I'm surprised. I ain't up here pat myself on the back like you. Yeah, I knew it was gonna get that big. <laughs> that's a tomato. <laughs> if I told you that, I'm lying. Man, here's another one of my Korean melons. It, it don't. I'm drinking my green juice. One second. This one don't went back. Okay. Dang, hold on, y'all. Funny enough, I don't cover my tomatoes. Nobody, I haven't had any bugs really bothering them. Man, they go inside hmm. of mine. Other things, yeah, but not my wow. tomatoes. Maybe they haven't found them yet. Maybe they don't know if they taste good. Who was that saying? You know uh, the crazy. Oh, go that ahead. Mama that said uh, her rabbits won't eat her, uh, won't eat her lettuce, but it eat the store bought lettuce. Hey, they didn't got used to it too, man. <laughs> Look at that. That's don't big, brother. Don't mess That's it up. They got a hole and they don't got in it. So I hate that, man. This is a nice melon, man. Damn. Look at yeah, that's a tough break. Compo, man. So there's nothing good on that melon hands in the dirt? You can't cut off half of it? Nah, uh -uh. It's, this melon is hollow on the inside. Oh, because I'll be like taking off a piece of something to eat something. Yeah, if it was like that. <laughs> cut the good part <laughs> off. You know, if I get a little that. slipper, I'm having a slipper, brother. Hey, man. You know if it's like that, I'm from the country. <laughs> we, cut the, we cut the bad part off keep moving. Yeah. But that right there. Yes, is sir. That's hollow and they don't got in there. Uh-oh. No, I can't see it. Oh. I don't throw it in the compost. Oh, you threw that already. Let me get some water because yeah. I'm dehydrated. Drink. Drink the more. more. I sit out here, the more I'm starting to see. This the first and you time. out there all the time, man. Yeah, I am. The thing is, when you usually be out there, you be focused on one thing, work, because it's, it's yeah. all kinds of, you know, flying yeah. by and they be Eight, hiding behind uh, leaves cucumber. and stuff, but you don't even notice it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know the weird, some weird y'all. So th they got these cherry tomatoes that grow wild over here. I got yeah. plenty of them in the yard, and they didn't, they overtook. They the reason why I don't think my beef steaks the last. I don't, I don't know why they they just popped up everywhere. Uh, the <laughs> the local animals don't eat them. The monkeys don't eat them. Don't nothing over here. Eat. I asked my boy, I said, say, man, because I got a whole bunch of them in his yard. Because every now and again, he'll make a salad out of them. And yeah. I said, say, why is it that none of the animals will eat none of this stuff? And he said he don't know. Uh, uh, when he was little, when he was younger, a lot of the uh, older people, they definitely ate them. They ate them all the time. Like, they would keep them in, you know, little bags or whatever. And they would eat and, and the old man, his, his like, uh grandfather and people used to tell them these the real tomatoes but as technology grew as trade started to happen um and they and they started getting more imports over here in tanzania people fell away from eating them and mm. you know all it took was 25 30 years and people just kind of quit eating them all together yeah they quit eating them all together man all they want is the, the, the seeds from overseas and the import yeah. from overseas and yeah, it just kind of fell away, but hell, that's more for me in April, I guess. Yeah, y'all eating that, one generation, how, eh? Wow, that's all. That's all it takes for a lot of stuff to change. Is one generation. Look at all this craziness we got going on right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one or two generations. Yep. Well, yep. you got a generation of cuckoos out here. Yeah. And, and it can happen. It can happen fast, faster in an environment like this because you got. I mean. They, I'm, we living in a country that that only gained independence in 1961. Yeah, so it's like Ghana, Ghana I'll, is around it, that time. Exactly, exactly. So uh, you you got by the time you get one two generations in, now you got a whole new segment of society who all they want uh, in a lot of ways are the newer things, things that's imported, things that's more Western, and you know. That lead that's that's a whole nother conversation in and of itself right there. But yep, yeah, trust yeah me. it happened quick, man. Yeah, it don't take it happened long. quick. 
Yeah. I mean, that's a part of it, you know, as society advances, technology advances, and then the civilizations advance. And a lot of stuff that people used to do, if it's not ingrained in them um, as when they're young and they don't take value in it, then they're going to go with the new thing. You know what I'm saying? Very true. Yeah. And, and a lot of yeah, times and, and it's what, easier. A lot of times it's easier. It's true. Yeah. That, that's, that's real too, bro. That's how the world changed. Uh, yeah. But what, what uh, 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 growing out the box, what, what Urban Gardener Chronicles just had up on the screen, he 100% right oh. about these tomatoes. Uh, yeah, there it is. Um, he said they the cherry tomatoes. I know you can't see it has dirt, so it said the cherry tomatoes are relatively insect free. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. Oh, uh, bro. Hey, man. When I'm t when ain't nothing else thriving, I'm talking about something that can lay out in the Serengeti, bro. Something that can deal with the with with heat, very little water. They still bright red, delicious, full of full of juice and nutrients. I don't even understand how they do it, and yeah. uh. And uh, psh, people quit eating them. Yeah, my <laughs> cherry just... tomatoes ain't nothing bothering them. It's the other tomatoes they going out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They busting. The only thing that bothers mine is ants if I let them, if I let them overripe too much. But other than that, yeah, they're always they're yeah, always mine, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mine fall to the ground. I mean, you I only thing I get eat my cherry tomatoes is birds. Yeah, they may go and yeah. check it when they get right, you know what I'm saying? Because it looks like what well, it is a fruit, but you know, it looks like a, mm -hmm. a, a plum or something to them, and it is sweet and it is a source yeah. of uh, um, it's a source of uh, water for them, so yeah, they'll come poke a hole in mm -hmm. That's why they said put you, bird feeders around your house, it help, <laughs> right? Out. Right, you, you know, something. Everybody who in this chat probably know I'm a meat eater and I love meat, uh, but I've seen it, it so many times over here, the understanding of food. The gardening community seem to have a big understanding and appreciation of food because I, I'm telling you what I've seen with my own eyes and I'm not talking about people who, who are necessarily vegan or vegetarian. These yeah. people who may or may not have nothing else. You could take a family of four or five and mama get in there and make some stew. Uh, uh, everybody chip in or, or just mama do it herself sometime. And the whole mm. family finna sit down and eat. Yeah. And to some people, they could be in that same situation to be like, man, we ain't got nothing to eat. We ain't got no food. No, bro, you got a backyard full of food out there. People sit, you know, bust down the cucumbers and, and whatever fruits and vegetables they get their hand on. And it's mm. all vegetable, but everybody can eat every day. So yeah, I don't know if that's getting to be a lost uh -huh. art or or what, but I don't know. But that's how my mama did it. Uh, I'm gonna come up with those. Um, my mom. Someone's asking: Are GM are, are cherry tomatoes part of a GMO family? Hell, I, don't know. I think you can get heirloom cherry tomatoes, right? I'm sure you can. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think they've been uh, hybridized, hybrid. Yeah. What the word? But yeah, I think you can get, um, you know, hybrid sure. or heirloom cherry. You go to Baker's Creek. Tomatoes. They sell just about um, every species of plant have a hybrid and have a GMO. Oh, well, not a GMO. Mm -hmm. Every season will have a GMO. Now they might have hybrids. Got to remember, GMO. They went in there and went into the DNA of the plant. And took strands from this plant and put it with that plant. Hybridization is cross pollination, where this tomato grows. Yes, cross pollination. Big. People, they get cross pollination and GMO. Yeah. Okay. No TLC saying there's there's heirloom there's uh, heirloom ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they get a confused. Okay, so there are, yeah, hybridized is like, we're going to talk about that on Saturday. We're going to talk about hybrid and GMO because it's not a dirty word. There ain't nothing wrong with no hybrid. It's cross-pollination. Well, I'm going to tell you, just but about too much people are, you know, this alkaline thing and talking about, oh, it's man-made. Every plant that you buy from, vegetable plant that you buy from Home Depot and Lowe's or wherever, you, is hybrid. Just about all the food that you eat in the grocery store is either hybrid, grafted, and the reason they graft it, they want uniformity like in the fruits and vegetables. 
And it's quicker to grasp something. It's faster to grow by putting it on a rootstock than trying to grow something from seed. And that's why they do it. Uh, so just about every everybody is hype. I don't know. You can you eat them, believe me. Unless you growing your own food, and even the stuff that in the store that they label organic, you don't know. The only way you gonna know is if you grow you it. You don't yourself. know. The only way you're going to know is if you grow it yourself. Correct. You don't know what they're putting in that's, that stuff. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. That's but right. You, you've been eating hybrids that, all your that's life. That's the only way you're going to know. Because people mislabel things intentionally or accidentally. We don't know. Man, you've been eating hybrids all your life. You know what I'm saying? Unless you were just the same way with meat. Yeah. They, yeah. They selectively breed animals. They've always been since the beginning of the time. You know? Yep. This cow gets big, and this one right here puts out a lot of milk. You crossbreed, and you get a big cow that puts out a lot of milk. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Period. Yeah, hey, I just, hey, bro. it's selective breeding. <laughs> Facts. Mean, it's always Facts. been done. Same you know, thing you got chicken. one tomato that's a big tomato. It gets really large, but it's not as flavorful as this tomato. This tomato has a lot of flavor, yep. and it's drought-resistant. And it's pest resistant. They cross those, you get a hybrid. You know, like a Rutgers tomato yeah. is a hybrid. You know, it's a lot of these tomatoes are hybrid. You've been eating them all your life. And it's just hey, and, exactly. and what about bro? What about this? Hey, this chicken, uh man, it, them, them thighs and them legs show get big quick. And in about six weeks, man, that sucker. That sucker look like it weigh about a kilo and a half. Yeah, but yeah. it don't lay it don't lay eggs too good. It only lay one egg every every other day or every three days. Mm -hmm. So let me take the two back, and then you keep doing that over five, seven, eight, twenty generations, and the next thing you know, you got, you got a meat a, bird. They, yeah, you got another bird. They still yeah. lay eggs. You got another bird. They still lay eggs, but they uh uh. Yeah, they lay eggs, but they don't lay eggs the same way layers do. A layer is going to give you an egg every day. Some of them almost on the spot every 24, 25 hours. Yeah. But then you got meat birds. The, the, the layers, they'll never get as big, as quick as a broiler. Broilers, man, and I'm talking about without, without feeding them any additional, um, uh, you know, steroids you know the typical stuff that's very common in certain countries and other places we talking about over here just giving them regular feed and david uh, saying they do that with humans too yeah these girls be getting legs and thighs yeah. faster nowadays yep that's what well, i'm talking babe that's well these girls you know, be 12 and looking 18. well some some of them sometimes you know a girl like catch you know, a case if you're not careful you know some of them like well i want my kids to be <laughs> i want my kids to be tall so I'm gonna marry a tall man. <laughs> Say, yep. Yep. So you know what I'm saying? You yep. may get a tall child. Mm -hmm. So that's the way it works. Ain't no ain't no big deal. But what uh blind guy was saying, yeah, local farmers, if you get with local farmers that farm organically, yeah, you got a better chance of getting organic product. But if you go that's true, store, that's very true. You eat hybrids. Exactly, sure, because they they don't care about mm -hmm. the, the your health; they care about the bottom dollar. Yeah, yeah, here you're not. So I would suggest, yeah, local farmers, because at least you can see that they're growing at the right rate, and they're not force feeding them and force, you know, you know, you're getting yeah, all that you're, you're, at the you're right time. Pay for that, but that's what it's about. Damn right, yeah. You're gonna pay for it because they should. People want to talk more. about hybrid and organic, but they don't want to pay the price that it costs to grow hybrid yeah. and organic. So you can't, you can't have it both mm -hmm. ways. You can't yeah, have, yes. you know, a, a good, a cheap, cheap price and you high goods. When I was growing up, so I people got to start choosing word, what's important to them. If you want good quality, you want to pay for it. Hybrid or organic when I was growing up. This is new. Me neither. I said, Me the neither. Past yeah, you just grow your food, right? You just raise food. 20 years or whatever. My grandmama and them never called mm -hmm. them organic. Well, yeah, baby, go out there and pick them organic peas. <laughs> Boy, hush, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> Go back in the backyard and get me a bushel of peas, huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yep. And that so, was it. This is this new age, you know, all these people are into their health and this and that. And they started, a, you know, where they labeling this is organic and I don't want it if it's not organic. And, 
and all these types of things. And that's fine. You should, you know, want to put the best food that you can afford into your body. Or the facts. So it's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a good thing. But I think uh, sometimes we get overly, I don't know, people go over. I, 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 I know where you're coming from. And I think this is what happened, especially from a social standpoint. Uh, something that, that's that's natural, that's normal, it starts out with the best intentions. And for, number one, it get commercialized. And number two, it gets fetishized after that. So you take something as sensible as eating healthy, and then the powers that be, whomever they may be, they like, oh, we can make money off of this. And then the next thing you know, it turns into a fad, and the fad turns into a fetish. And then you end up in conversations like this, where we saying on one hand, 20 years ago, this was unheard of. And now yeah. in 2022, you know, it's like some people really, if it ain't organic, I don't want it. I ain't trying to have it. I don't want to. Right, 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 right. So, and I don't know exactly when this whole thing started. I just threw out 20 years. It may be further back than that, but I never paid any attention to it. Because, you know, I didn't, you know, me neither. I didn't exactly even know what they were talking about. When they were talking about, I'm like, hell, I thought all things were organic. Um, I, I didn't grow up hearing that. Like you said. I didn't grow yeah, up hearing I didn't, that. We didn't grow up hearing that. But we didn't grow up using synth, uh, synthetic fertilizers either. So all our stuff was organic. You know, we used manure, leaves, compost, stuff like that. Um, they did the burns that somebody was relating to. I remember when, you know, my, my great uncle and aunts and all them, they used to burn their front, they, they used to burn their grass. They would burn the grass. I, I mean, control Can't burn burns. down. They'll call the city on me. We yep. tried that. Yeah, they would burn the whole yard, just burn it. And then it would come back beautiful. Yeah, that's what they would do when I was a kid. The neighbor, oh, they burn their front yard. They burn it. They kill that's all the weeds and all that, and then the grass comes back. That's what nature does with the forest and, fire. That's exactly what nature does. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, so I, Urban Garden Crunch, stop me if I get too too heavy into it because this is your channel. But mm -hmm. uh, some some interesting while ago when you said like uh, I think it was uh, who said that in the chat? I can't see the chat now. It was uh, blind guy and his wife it, it said uh, if you can get with the local farmers. Now yeah, this is probably my know to be true in the states. When people start, let's say you got a, a small rancher, small farmer, he got about 30, 40 heads of cattle and he want to do just that. And you got people from down the road and folk from church and other places here about, you know, local like, hey, I know brother such and such, you know, he, he finna bust. Y'all want to go half and buy a cow. If, yep. if too many people hear about that, that's in positions of authority or regulate, regu let's just say regulators or whatever. <laughs> Man, they cracking down on people trying to live that way so hard that it's, man, it's it's hard to do it. You almost got to stay hush-hush about it because folk will come after you because uh, I think it was about maybe, maybe 15, 16 years ago, they came after, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I want to say it was some Amish people. You know, it's, in yeah. certain places, it's illegal to have mm -hmm. like raw milk and stuff, right? Yeah. So these people couldn't have their own meat that they were sharing amongst each other and selling. They couldn't have raw milk. I'm like, man, what the hell? What is well, going that happened on? Last when week, you can't right? Do that last week, the farmer, yourself. the Amish farmer, was uh, he's he's been um, with the U.S. officials, and he they shut like trying to shut him down because he's growing meat and selling it to a group of people who are members of this, like they're a member That's of his the farm. Kind of stuff I'm talking. And it happened yeah. last week. And if you watch, um. What's that channel name? I've got the man. It's a married couple. They live off grid, and he has a long beard. He looks Amish, but he's not really Amish. But he was, they, yeah, Doug and Stacy. I think yeah. if you check them out, he was talking about it because he's saying basically, you know, talking about land rights and um, you don't have to let them on your property. And um, I guess the Amish farmer complied to a certain point of letting them come on the property years ago and and agreeing to, to comply with the regulations. And now years uh -huh. later, they're they're coming after him. So he's trying to tell us that 
they are in for the long game and we're not seeing the long game. So don't sign any agreement. I didn't even know about sign that. any contract. Yep. Don't sign anything that you're going to be in, in some kind of part. Like don't sign any documents. And he says, do not let them on your property. If they threaten to arrest you, let them arrest you, but do not let them on your property unless it's an agreed upon date and time that you specify as a farmer and you're not agreeing to comply to any of their regulations because the man's growing good beef and the people that want the beef and then they're telling him he has to do all kind of foolery. Good morning, God's Construction. I saw you there. Yeah. Um, Look, y'all, it's crazy. It's crazy. Now, Amish people have been doing this for this. generations. The one, yeah. per, well, the one group of people who you would trust more than anyone is like the Amish and the Mennonites. They've been doing this. Yeah, they They've mean, never changed yep. their practices. Mm. They ain't dead. They ain't yep. sick. They ain't in the hospital. But now you're telling them how to do their own thing on their own property? They live in too Because they go deeper than that. They they, exactly, hello? Say exactly. They, they doing What's too the much, What's the agenda? Man. They doing too much. <laughs> What's the agenda? They doing too much. So it's not about food or it's not about it's, it's about food, but it's about controlling who has access to food and and funneling you down there. Veganism and hybrid uh, package, put water on it. it you know, uh, um, right. what's, what's, what's that show? Um, the Jetsons, like putting it into the Jetsons food stream where you put this button and you put some water on it and expand a plate of food and then you. Are you are start you zap it <laughs> down? <laughs> you zap it down from the synthesizer, and it, you know that's what they're leading us down that path. Beam hey, me up, uh, Scotty, Urban beam me up <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. For real? No, was you was you were you in that chat when uh I want to say with Planter Garden TV about two three because we 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 we've been out for like a week. It was before then, so it has to be maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, and uh. I call plant to garden. I want to say you was in there and it was David Corey and I, and I want to say Dan permaculture. And yeah, I was I telling the man, like in certain States, you can't even now that just because like you said, it's a long term thing. And I was trying to tell people, uh, you know, I don't know everybody's situation. You look up your local state and, and, and County and I, municipality I remember you said or that parish. And I, looked, and I looked it up. Like I looked up, let's say, I think you're, uh -huh. they're talking about Florida. And it doesn't say per yeah. se, but but there's also water rights and there's also mineral rights. So you may own your quote unquote right. land or house, but you don't own the minerals that are in the soil. Somebody else owns that. Right. Well, not just not not even that. That that's very true, and that's a complicated set of circumstances for homeowners, for landowners, and I'm talking about good old fashioned rainwater. That's what I was talking about: the collection of rainwater and right. whether it's legal to uh. Uh, to collect rainwater. With, 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 with. To collect rainwater. Now, don't take my word for it. Everybody live where they live, and I'm assuming y'all know where you live. So you look it up and see what what laws already exist on the books. Now, now whether that's being enforced at the moment or not, them two different things. I mean, hell, it, it's 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 our, it's laws on the books like reckless eyeballing in Texas, yeah, where you know, and yeah. so so just because what the reckless eyeballing laws. Reckless eyeballing is it you never heard of that? Never looking at your friend's okay. wife? What is that? What's reckless eyeballing? <laughs> no, reckless eyeballing is back when because this did exist at a time throughout. Oh, you American mean you could look at a white, white woman? I, you could look at a white woman? A, you 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 could be your all man, depending on where you was, you had to look down. That was part of acknowledging your position in society or whatever. So if if a person of of Color. that ethnicity yeah. felt that you had yeah had had disrespectfully looked, looked at, at them. them that was cons yeah so i mean just okay i've the heard of it but i didn't know it was called reckless eyeballing that just sounds like well that well that, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm country that's that's no that's, no that's, 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 that's all, yeah. you know texas yeah. thing yeah yeah mm -hmm. so that's on the book still in some places i uh no longer enforced but i don't i don't think that you know you be charged uh i don't think it's in the penal code uh as uh as of as of late yeah. <laughs> but There's you have a to lot ask of stuff yourself why have that why but you have to ask yourself why does why do these things still exist in the penal code and why have they not been completely removed uh, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. word I ain't, I ain't gonna go back to the greek origins of it but the the, the word law in and of itself it's a funny thing. You know, I'll put it like this, man. Laws are 
there for look this is your show girl I, we, 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 i'll talk about you, that on my you show know i delved time. into all this stuff but, but back to the water because that's back back to the water yeah because that was basically that's water rights and then it, it ties into air rights and it ties into mineral rights and people don't seem to be aware mm -hmm. of what's happening at a very slow pace very true but you're losing you're losing ownership of things that you think you own you don't own like you may own the house but you do not own the air or the water that drops down into your land uh, on in a legal tell stand, in a legal not morally but legally that's what they're they're you tying tell to. and it's like it makes no sense but that's how they're going to there was a James Bond movie I don't know see I'm the worst with titles there's a James Bond movie and if you know the title somebody tell me and they were stopping the water from flowing underground in a in a town mm -hmm. people weren't getting any water and the whole point was to route the natural uh, water tables to where they wanted to, and sell the water back to the citizens. And I think it was I think it was um, the newest James Bond actor who was in that movie. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig was that it was him playing James Bond, and it was an underground, and they 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 diverted the entire water somewhere else, and the people who were used to having wells and stuff had no water. These are movies that are like five, ten years old now. That's where they're going, guys. They're taking away yeah. right. in some countries like Hawaii oh. and other countries that corporations, when you drink a bottle of Coca-Cola and Pepsi and whatever other name brands, and they can come back and 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 find me for this video, all these companies that you're supporting, you better see what they're doing in other countries. Because some of those people ain't got no water because right. they're making their Coca-Cola with that. Hey, right, look so, at hand the dirt said a while ago. You 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 twenty years ago you didn't hear about this organic and and I'm not I'm not you know belittling the word or the phrase or people who who find that to have importance that's not my intent what mm -hmm. I'm saying is this man just sit here and said and I, I share I share that error uh you didn't hear Big Mama say hey boy go out there and, and pick me some some organic such and such and bring it <laughs> nah that didn't exist well guess what else didn't happen I I ain't seen no buy water till I was in my teens that was just unheard of. Yeah, right. Go to these long hot, hot yeah, we used to go to these long hot revivals, windows open and tambourines clapping and choir clapping and this and hot hand fan. And, and my, and, yeah, and my grandma she, she used to take her a pitcher of water, sit beside her chair. She had you, she mm. had her own little, little spot and everything. That's what yeah. people did back then. Man, wasn't no doggone bottle water. No. But now it's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. But it, it's saying that out loud, some people. It, two things happen either they look at you like they crazy or they look at you like you crazy them yeah. the only two things that never happened to me so i just i let it burn I just, when i, I first just saw bottled water it was in the gallon jugs mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. yep and i was yep. like why they got you know i was young i was like why are they trying to say nobody gonna buy it you know what i'm saying i was thinking at that time right nobody's gonna i got my own water, water in a bottle Cause that just didn't make it. It just didn't resonate with me at that time. I was young, and I just didn't understand who's finna buy water in a bottle. Water, you can go to the hose and drink all the water you want. Um, right out the faucet, drink all the water you want. I never thought about it, but then when they started, they, they sold us convenience. That's what they sold us. So they yeah. sold you convenience, then they sold you customization too. So they stuck. Oh, this water right here. It's from the blah, 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 springs of this and that. Oh, this water right here is alkaline free. Oh, this water right here. So, <laughs> but guess what? It's the same tap water that you put on your own damn tap. <laughs> yeah, so hey, man. once they started to customize it, <laughs> they and, had and for that. types of water, uh, you know, from aqua, you know, this type of spring and this and that. Uh -huh. um, yeah, now, if I lived in Florida... Yeah, give me some bottle of water. I got give me some bottle of water. That water in California. That water in Florida. In California. Was good. God Almighty. Mm -hmm. They need to be whooped yeah. down there for even putting that letting man. I'm boiling everything. Yep. I boil my water. We've always boiled. We've always boiled water. That's just how we were trained. You never trust what you don't right. know for certain. And it's not even just the water mm -hmm. source. These pipes have been old and they're not being maintained. Right, right. They're corroding and leaching well, into your water. Yep. That water in Florida, yep. not, I, I haven't been all over Florida. I don't been to the bottom, middle, I, you know, just about, not every city, but a lot of the cities in Florida. 
Um, and the water has a sulfur type of smell to me now. If you yeah. live in Florida, mm -hmm. you may not even pay no attention to it. But it has mm -hmm. a spirit like sulfur type of smell to me. And I'm like, what is that? I'm like, that's the water? I ain't drinking that. And jo the water in Georgia yeah. may not be any better. It may not, it may just not have a smell. Just want to say hey to GT Jr. who's dropped in and Cassandra. Hey, what's Saul up, GT? Fulton, just saying, hey, we see you, but we're just, you know, in our conversation. But we see you all. Thanks what's, for popping in. What's going on? I got uh, a picture with a filter on it that, you know, you just put your tap water and it filters it as it goes down into this uh, holding area. And then you just pour the water. You know, if you want to filter your water, I don't see anything wrong with that. Because water does have a lot of extra this and that, all kind of foolishness in it. So, yeah, we filter our water. And I do buy bottled water. Don't get me wrong. I do keep some bottled water in the refrigerator oh, downstairs. Um, Especially for like an emergency yeah. for like, you know, SHTF, you know, but like yeah. you said, you know, beyond mm -hmm. that, yeah. Hell, I'm in Africa. All my water bought. I ain't finna front. I, I'm not, I ain't even, yeah. look here, man. I, I'm, I'm, I, it's a real thing now. Yeah, I said it's a billion dollar industry for what you just broke down, uh, hands in the dirt, because all of that factors in when you look at the the whole marketing scheme in and of itself, oh, yeah. man. We not just talking about the consumption of the actual water in the bottle. We talking about all the things that come along with it, with that bottle, which yeah. is a result of the of the problem. Like she just said, all these hundred year old pipes with all not just lead, <laughs> all kinds of uh different materials leaching off into the water uh yeah. uh the hard uh, uh what you call them sol dissolvable solid like all kinds yeah. of things, mm -hmm. yeah, just yeah. funky nasty stuff funky nasty. Yeah. so yeah. but so by not fixing the 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 source of the problem well here's a solution now you got to pay for this solution but yeah. that's how you end up with a billion dollar industry and over yeah. here, I mean, most of the pipes, you don't even see too many metal pipe, man. Almost everything over here at PVC, it depends. The gauge be be doggone. I'm talking about three inch pipe, eight inch pipe, all of it plastic because so much of it is new. Because again, I'm living in a spot that just found independence in the last less what 50 some odd, 60 some odd years. years so yeah. it's a lot of rebuilding going on. And, uh, you know, people used to rely solely on natural water sources, man. I mean, yeah. I, there are people still alive over here that uh, when they were kids, I'm talking about elders, elders. I'm talking about people in their 70s and 80s that yeah. I can speak enough Swahili and they can speak enough English. When we converse with one another, man, these folk, hell, that water, they were going to get that joint. It wasn't no running water. They were yeah. going, like, to the spot with buckets and jugs and bringing it back to the crib. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people still doing that, even here in the states. I heard somebody say mm -hmm. something about you know when they go out the country, it's a third world, you know. But that's just the places they've been. I'm like, I want to say, everywhere outside the United States is not third world. Uh, even in Africa, very some true. parts, yeah, very some, true. Yeah, some parts, yeah. Countries in Africa, and some of them just as modern as California, yep. New York. And then some of Absolutely. them, but it's the same way here. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, cities like Chicago, New York, L.A., Dallas, Atlanta, um, Nashville, all these, you know, metropolitan cities. But if you get outside of some of these cities and go into some of these rural areas, they live in the same way. That's third world as anybody. Bro. Yeah, it's the same you way. Talk. I don't yeah. out South Georgia and Mississippi and Alabama all back into Ooh, Arkansas. Lord have mercy. You better preach to him, bro. Hey, man, I yeah. was in Arkansas. I thought I went through a time castle. Yep. <laughs> I've seen it on TV. For they don't real. have. They don't even have infrastructure running. Nothing. Same right, as right. like at all. Hundred years ago. At yeah, all. So at all. It, it it all depends on where you live, and you know, like I said, everywhere is not third world once you get outside of our country. Uh, you got so many places like you know. I know you've been. I've been to Japan. Um, come on, man. They way ahead of us as far as technology, um, way ahead of us. You know, their uh, oh, train bro. systems. Yeah. Uh, uh, no trash all everything. over the I ain't going to say everything. A lot. A lot. Yeah, not everything, but a lot of technology. But, uh, a lot. Yeah. 
A lot of technology. It went ahead of us as far as that's concerned. Hey, 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 hands. I, you know, me and you don't talk, man. I was telling you, y'all, I saw it. So when we watch TV, it's usually through the internet. That's how we watch TV. And uh, uh, yeah. because we've been busy with other stuff when we was getting our downtime or winding down or whatever, I've been yeah. trying to catch a little TV here and there. And so I'm watching the ads in between the the the, the shows we watching because I hadn't watched like show TV shows in a, in a while. So <clears throat> they talking about like the car kiosk, man. Japan, bro. I was in Japan over a decade ago. Yeah, I'm in Japan, man. They got they got what 18, 20 story tall car kiosk way back then, man. You drive your car into it, the dude get you whatever give you your mm. little identity uh, key to get your car yeah. back and bam it go up on the escalator like a dog yeah. vending machine they have to <laughs> you know this yeah they don't have yeah. the land so they have to yeah they got to build up they got to build, build up. up so yeah. and and like you said the trains and stuff man oh, the technology man. the yeah, wi-fi the, yeah. every mm. everything outside the states ain't third world but no i've 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 the uh i've regressed from having those conversations with people and publicly because some people automatically get especially with me living in africa it's like i'm trying to take sides to say oh this is but man i don't tell y'all know i don't get in grown folk business i don't get in grown folk business <laughs> so i'm not that. trying to say something <laughs> i ain't trying to say one thing is better than the other i just try to compare the differences but yeah the conversation that we having right now requires a certain level of maturity that everybody don't seem you know eager to indulge in so i just say you yeah, know all right people want to act like they got a like like, like it's you're talking about their family or something like you ain't got no stake in it it just is what it is yeah i ain't, got no, got, yeah, no that's it. I ain't got no stake in it I was talking oh. you know but people get so like my goodness yeah take mm -hmm. a chill pill man mm -hmm. yeah we all pawns <laughs> exactly we all pawns <laughs> <Basically. laughs> thank you thank you yeah, yeah. Wait, he went a stockholder or a shareholder. <laughs> no, nah. we all, you know people want to feel. They always want to be attached to something. You know what I mean? And yeah. Especially if it's successful. You know what I mean? And it gets notoriety. Mm -hmm. Notoriety. You know, we want to be attached to that. But at the end of the day, man, I don't care how important you want to be. You may think you are. This is just my opinion. Mm -hmm. To the powers that be. All, we are puns. All they need us to do is pay our taxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't ask, facts. don't ask no questions. Yeah. 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 Buy facts. all the goods because they want us to be consumers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And vote. And that's control. So that's it. You know, once you vote, they don't yep. think nothing else about you. Uh, make sure you pay yep. your taxes so that they can stay in power. Yeah. And get all this bread, yeah, and make sure that you're consuming. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And so don't you dare think it, for yourself because that, that yeah. you have a brain. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, make sure you're you consuming. That goes back to what they was talking about the butchering animals. I saw that when I was growing up. When I used to go down to the country, uh, it wasn't none for them to butcher something. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I was traumatized first time I seen it when I was really young, but it. it <laughs> It, it wasn't none for them to you go down there something hanging up side down on <laughs> on the side of the yeah. tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. But now, yeah, they want to regulate it, and you know all these regulations and this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 so that they can control it. Yeah. So, yeah, I've seen where they got these butchers. Uh, they will come to your property, and they FDA certified. And I understand. You know that you have to do it in a way that's clean and you know that you're not mm -hmm. that's true i understand that's all true. that but my great uncles and all them they understood all that too you know what i'm saying they didn't need the fda to tell them you know what i'm saying how to keep their meat clean and do it in a clean manner where you're not contaminating the meat and you're going to hurt somebody because they were eating the meat so they definitely weren't going to hurt themselves so but that's yeah. what i was going to say man who wants yeah. to be sick <laughs> yeah so they did it they knew what they were doing yeah so yeah and you know something that grow me out it, it don't grow me out man but i you know what get me is deer ribs and i know you don't can't you didn't kill i'm sorry you've you've uh what's the word uh urban garden chronicle you've uh, uh dispatch. i want to use your word dispatch 
you've dispatched a mini a white tail, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. And uh I just hate how round they are, man. It looked too rib cagey. That's all <laughs> out of all the animals. Like Fred Flintstone? Boy, they <laughs> no, not that, not like that round. They it's the way that you know what I'm talking about, hand the dirt, how yeah, that, how they yeah. they just round too much. I don't yeah, it looked like a chest cavity, but oh, it is. I still uh, eat them. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, mean, I, I mean I know it is, but <laughs> I've never yeah, you know it is, right? <laughs> I never I never eaten, <laughs> I have never eaten deer ribs. Um, and every time I try to say, well, yeah, I'm gonna keep these ribs. Say if I if I process the, the animal myself, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I cut the ribs off, yeah, I'm gonna do these ribs. And I end up like he's giving them away or something like that. I've never- Yeah, eaten man, ribs. I can't mess with them. But that neck, oh man. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 where that's that's oh, boy, where it's that at right there. Pot roast right there, boy. You know, I did a video on one pot roast I did, and then we just I just did another one last weekend. Oh man, you tore that thing yeah. up, man. So good, cook it slow in the crock pot. You winning? Yeah, yeah. You winning, but I saw that boy. You 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 be doing the thing with them. Go. I think word thing got out of by by me over here, man. I be out walking or something, boy. I see deer. They just kind of look at it, look like they talking to each other. Oh, he said ideas. Said ideas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that word thing got out, boy. That man put you on the grill, man. Yeah. That man will put you on the grill, man. <laughs> I sure will. Like he from you Texas. You know that, right? He from Texas. They like ribs. Over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be in Texas in September, man. I'm. I probably video it. My cousin is returned, and um, it's gonna be a big. Oh, that's deal. right. That's right. He does everything big. You know, he's ex-military. He, he retired from the military. And then he's a commandant and a basketball coach uh, at this school. So um, oh, that's what's up. That's he's retired from that. He, you know, he's he's like, yeah, man, I'm letting it go. I saw him last weekend and my he came down for my cousin's party. But we're going down there for his thing because every time he has something, you got to go. Frank show out. So we're going to yeah. go down there for that. In September, then I'm flying back out in October to watch the Dallas Cowgirls play. I understand. Hey, I'm not a fan, so I take. Did you say cowgirls? Yeah, he said cowgirls. I'm like, mm -hmm. now it's mm -hmm. now. God, what's up, God Construction? God Construction in the chat, and Dave, of course, some more Texas folk in. Yeah, the chat. they in the chat. They've been here. Yeah, you probably see them, but they've been here. They know what I'm talking about. The, those yeah, Dallas Cowboy fans. Oh, we're gonna they gonna win the Super Bowl every year. <laughs> They diehard fans now. Don't get me wrong, and you know I was rooting for yeah. Dallas because Shelby is a diehard yeah. Dallas fan. man. I hadn't even showed y'all all this Dallas crap I got around here. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, man, she put on a blue makeup, all, all kind of stuff. She be <laughs> Dallas out over here, and so you know Boy, she I actually went to she flew out to the stadium. Um, she flew out for uh, business. And you know they got a chance to go to the stadium and do the whole stadium tour. You know, walk on the field. Oh, that's nice. And go in there where they nice. do the uh, post games and all that kind of stuff. So she's a diehard. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna fly out to watch her cowgirls get beat up. And um, okay, yeah. okay. I, I I root for Dak. You know, because I like Dak Prescott. I don't care for Ezekiel uh -huh. Elliott that much. Um, but yep. Dak. I root for Dak, man. I want him to do good, but uh, sometimes I don't know, man. It look like a little chipmunk that's in between his ears. Stop running, <laughs> <laughs> man. I, I'm I don't fell off, man. I, you know I'm still a Seahawks fan, but uh, the bless you, bless you. Uh, what's gonna call it? The you know the team that that the once was, and I, I became a fan back in 0405. Way before they got as hot as they they are now, but you know it's, it's I was something that got me with the Cowboys too. We we was actually in Arlington when uh they moved state when they started construction for the new stadium. Yeah, and uh man, you know it was it's 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 some I ain't gonna get into it on this particular live boy, but it's a lot that come with that with the whole football thing and this and that. But uh the uh as far as revenue and and 
how much everyday Joes pay for, you know, the percentage that they pay in. You just talked about taxes for the stadiums and, and yeah. it's stuff that gets subsidized and all of that. But anyway, uh, I said, God construction say they, they, they Houston Texans all day. So, mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to start me a, a league and a team and, and call. I don't know. I, I like it, it kind of rhyme. I might come to Georgia, man. The Georgia, Georgia goats. Yeah. Yeah. I got a yeah. Nice come get you a bulldog. Some bulldog gear. <laughs> but as far as my pro team, I never really, well, young I did. I, I, you know, I follow players from high school, college into the pros. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the one team I root for now, uh, and I guess you could call on my team for now, is Baltimore. That's my team. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I root for them because I root for Lamar Jackson. And so. Right, right, yeah, Lamar, right. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I want to see him there. shine, man. I do yeah, too. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I root for Lamar, man. Um, so we went to a Baltimore game here and watched them put their hands on the Falcons. I was so glad. I'm, I can't stand the Falcons, man. I hope they lose every game every year. <laughs> yeah, I understand, man. Hey, yeah, look, I can't man, stand Sometimes them, I, I see some games and I wish both of them could lose. I, that's, I that's, that's what breaks my heart. Yeah. All my partners, they Falcons fan, boy. I'd be loving to call them after the game is over with. Oh, it's the same way for me, man. All my family are either Texans fans or Cowboys fans. And yeah. I mean, we grew up, I'm talking about like I had it it was mixed feelings for a while. I had family that were mad when I was like, okay, man, I'm finna ride with the Hawks, man. I'm I, I just I just I just started loving them. I started following them. I, yeah. I, I kind of shifted because I wasn't feeling the Cowboys no more, man. And I had I had Anus not want to give me plates no more. Urban Garden Chronicles, y'all ain't got well, y'all don't have a we have we, we only have the, we don't have NFL, we have the CFL, it's a very small league. We don't have the yeah, league, yeah. We don't have no big yeah. league. And I didn't really I don't even understand football. I kind of learned a bit of it now, but I don't even know what's happening. I'm like, huh, what? Uh what? Oh <laughs> <laughs> defense, offense, 50 yard line, down, something down, something. I'm like, what? <laughs> Yeah, What's all this? She's a diehard daggone Dallas fan, man. I got the yeah. high Dallas stuff around here. Hey, well, hey, y'all, I'm uh, I, I ain't mean to cut you off, man, but I'm gonna step down because we we probably go not no time soon. Maybe the next couple of hours we'll we'll go live and catch up because, like you, you know, like Urban said, we missed Tuesday, and uh, <laughs> bro, I just want to say. Thank you, uh, Urban. Thank you for having have let me, you know, jump up here oh, and always. chop it up with you and always catch welcome. up. And everybody in the chat who I missed, I'm sorry, y'all, but I ain't been able to see my my chat the whole time. Um, and hands in the dirt, man. I was uh, bro, we was out for a week. We we started with a wedding, and then the wedding led to a whole bunch of other stuff. And when we finished all that, it was super busy. <clears throat> but uh, thank you for. I'm telling y'all, man. If don't <clears throat> if don't nobody else. A lot of people did, and we thank everybody who did. But if don't nobody else check on on us on me and April, that dog on hands in the dirt, man. He ain't just he, he gonna call. He gonna he gonna check. He gonna like, bro, where you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all good over there? What's going on? So like, yeah, when you on the other side of the planet, having somebody that you met through a, 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 a space like this here, be like, man, let me let me see what's going on with my people. I just want to say, y'all, this is. This whole YouTube, it, it is what you make it. And the relationships people build are what those relationships become based off the individuals involved. And it's a lot of love in this little community we got. So, you know, don't don't sleep on it and don't take it for granted. And I just want to say, bro, thank you for, for being what you've grown to be for me and April over these over these months, man. Yeah, man. Real no talk. Problem. No problem. I just wanted yeah. to make sure everything was straight. I hadn't heard from a senior. I was like, all right, now I got to go down here and get my AR, clamp up, you know what I'm saying, take a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Thank I've been wanting to hunt a zebra yeah, anyway. We, no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we appreciate it, fam, but I'm going to step down and, and uh, we'll probably jump on late, way later and do something. But I okay. uh, love y'all, man. Y'all be yeah. easy. 
All right, take care. Yeah, Thank I'm you. finna step down. I gotta go cut this melt these melons up, man. I don't wanna yeah, go and back. you're going live tonight, right? Uh hands of the dirt. Going live tonight. The chat at eight o'clock. It'll be me and my co her co host co-host. And that's on your channel or Nikki's channel it's tonight? It's going to be on my channel. Okay, so guys, right. Hands in the Dirt, uh, continuation of the chat tonight. So make sure you're on there for that. 8 o'clock. Um, Eastern yeah, eight o'clock. So do all your gardening ahead of time and get yourself in order. Don't and tell Nikki, though. It's BYOB. Bring on. Yes, bring your own and then have your adult <laughs> beverage and get your pinky finger ready. Yeah, baby, baby, yeah. And we going to have a good time. So we'll see you all tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off because I gotta take these these uh, kids to the airport shortly. Oh, okay, and get okay. them off to their back to Europe. So, okay. um, but I'm gonna be on again next Saturday, as usual, and I'll see you all on these YouTube streets. All right. So have a blessed week. Thanks for coming up, hands in the dirt, and we'll see you tonight at eight o'clock. Bye, right. guys. Bye.